It's the Bob and Tom Show. Back in the not too distant past, when I would need a quick repast or a temporary break from my agenda. Up to the bedroom, I would head, pull out the Playboy from neath the bed, and sneak a peek at all the portraits of Pudenda. My alternatives were slim. If I tried to find another source for sin, I'd have to hang out with the losers in the back room of my local video store but last month i finally made the call i got a brand new cable modem installed and it opened up the floodgates on a whole new universe of internet porn internet porn roman orgy scenes internet porn dominatrix queens internet porn girl on girl on girl on girl on girl on guy on sheep internet porn gross anatomy internet porn pam and tommy lee Internet porn when you're given so much to choose from. Who has time to sleep? <laughs> Honestly, honey, I don't know how the link got on there. After my girlfriend goes to sleep, then I get out of bed and down the hall I creep so I can hunker down and wallow in depravity until three or four. You'll always find me in that same tableau. Silhouetted by my monitor's warm glow And absorbing all the bounty from the cornucopia of internet porn internet porn barely legal teens internet porn naughty figurines internet geriatric german grandmas spanking spanish men internet porn erotic asian art internet porn guys with extra parts internet i don't think i'm ever going to see the sun again internet porn melonlove.com internet porn. there's my neighbor's mom internet porn by Wearing diapers, chasing nurses dressed like Smurfs. Internet porn, maison le clavage. Internet porn, on détroménage. Internet, every kind of smut from every corner of the earth. Hiya! How are ya? Good. Yes, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey there, Chick. Josh Arnold in the Italian linen shirt. <laughs> That's a good oh, yes. look. That's right. It's good look. Italian tablecloth right. design. <laughs> it's weird because you got nice checks on and Christy has the horizontal stripes. Yeah, we oh, kind of... Yeah. We got to get a, a shot of that. <laughs> it, it, it makes you, wow. your eyes blur. Remember the horizontal hold on the TV? Oh, that yeah. would that'd make it go crazy. And the vertical hold. I wonder if you can buy that. Can you get like an app that'll do that? That'll no, just I, could, I kept messing with it. I would always. <laughs> no, wouldn't you like that, though? No. <laughs> make the picture roll? No, it would be your, what do you call it? Your um, wallpaper oh. on your computer. Oh. Wouldn't that be well, great that, to have it be. rotating? I, uh, yeah. Okay. Right. If someone has done that, please invent that and give me the first copy. Hi, Ace. How are you? Hi. I'm it's going to sell. It. It'll be huge. Here's Tom. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's going to be and, gigantic. And just like that, it was invented. It <laughs> happened. It was huge. And Tom predicted it. <laughs> None of that actually happened, but in Tom's head, it did. But do you know what we're talking about, Josh? Yeah. Yeah. That it would be... Like this bar would kind of, I can't even describe it, rotate. The screen would kind of flip up, yeah. too. Like you, yeah. you, it was almost like the picture was rolling yeah. as chicks and they used the... to have they used to have the sign off and i think chick and i had the same experience uh i worked at an am and fm mm -hmm. uh, station and the am had to sign off at night mm -hmm. and then in the and at then, sunset yeah right is what mine did is right, what, exactly. what the commission said and and i'm not kidding they played uh the national anthem and it was on a tape that uh, had uh, had played tens of thousands of times I mean, sure. it, was, it was the <laughs> okay, can't really scratchy old 
Well, those were the days, huh? You don't get that. Does, does anybody sign off that. with that anymore? I don't. I. I, I, I don't, don't know if anybody signs off so. anymore. Well, Everybody's sure twenty four seven. Well, not the, the AM not stations. The AMs. Yeah. Some of them have to sign Some off. Of do the AM stations still have to sign off at sunset? Uh, yeah. Are there still I, some of those around of the country? A bunch yeah. of them, yeah. They have, to oh. they have to clear the way. It's ridiculous. Right. And, I thought they yeah. just lowered the power. Oh, well, maybe we that's did the that, We did that, too, at yeah, sunset. Here. Yeah. But yeah. But we had uh, we had what we called the Frankenstein switch. I, I had one. It yeah. was in the, uh, Josh, remember in the Frankenstein movies, there was a switch the size, about half the size of a baseball bat? Yeah. You'd walk up to the wall and grab this thing, and, <laughs> and on the bottom, it was this big U-shaped metal thing. You'd be, <laughs> it was really well, You really fun felt like you had a lot of power when you did that, didn't you? Oh, it was great. <laughs> and we had what they called a Gates board, which was an old board with big dials on it. Sure. And one day, a snake slithered out of it. <laughs> we, we were, our station, ah, was, Florida. Uh, our station was on a swamp in Florida, and you learn very quickly. <laughs> I never did see a gator in that pond, but there probably was one. Mm. Uh, we do have alligators in the news this morning. Got some uh, interesting news in the world of sports. Have you? Uh, I don't know if you've heard this yet, Josh. Interesting uh, baseball news this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, uh, involving probably the best player <laughs> out there, if not the best player in history. Oh, that, yeah. That's a pretty big story. Uh, Shohei Otani's interpreter is, uh, well, it, it. how do they say? The situation is in flux. It's changing. But his interpreter, evidently, uh, depending on what account of the story you read, he stole at least $5 million from Shohei. Whoa. And and used it to gamble. And oh, my. Used it because he needed to send it to some guy. He had $5 million worth of gambling debt. Oh, man. Ooh. Now Major League Baseball is peeing their pants because they don't want any word of, like, gambling or anything like that around Shohei, obviously, because he's, you know, arguably the biggest Major League Baseball star right now on earth. So they fired... Uh, as you might imagine, Shohei's uh, interpreter, one of, his, one of his best friends, spent a lot of time with him, had, yeah. had, had his interpreter forever. However, the fun part of the story for me is, I always like to look on the bright side. You know huh. that about me. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'm Mr. Half Full. <laughs> uh, Shohei really... But he would say you're completely full. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the reports are that Shohei, uh, all, everything Shohei knew about the situation was coming from the guy who committed... Uh, allegedly committed the crime. So Shohei really didn't know what was going on because he really doesn't speak that much English. And the interpreter, the guy who took the money, was telling him, oh, no, everything's fine. Oh. Uh, everything from uh, this is what happens in America to uh, no, 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 that's a, a booking error. That's a, a no, clerical no, no. error. No, we invest Bernie Madoff. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Man, oh man! So wow, that's don't do that. That is uh, accents are fun. Yeah, they're yeah. The, so the MLB's on it though. So yeah, but yeah. they're on it, and they fired their interpreter, and uh, they don't know where the uh, old interpreter is. Uh, Dave Roberts of the Dodgers, the manager, say I haven't seen him. So, oh. <laughs> so he's uh, he's taken off. Hmm. But uh, there right. are. They went to the gambler the, uh, the where the money went, and they have his computers and things, and there is uh, $500,000 like six or seven times from Shohei's town, uh, oh, account and, yeah. into his computer. Now, uh, Major League Baseball players are allowed to gamble as long as they're not gambling on baseball. I uh, don't know if that's true, yeah. but that sounds right. I don't yeah, they know. can bet on football. Chicken, right? I don't know if you remember this, but when Shohei signed that big deal, I said to you, I wonder how much he pays an interpreter. I know. You foresaw this entire situation. No, Ace. I just said it was I wonder, ama it's you know, amazing. It remains amazing. 40 grand? Hmm. Uh, so what are you well, saying? You should pay him $5 million a year so he no, wouldn't yeah. steal $5 million? <laughs> I'm just curious. What, what, is, what, what, is, what does he make a year? $250 million. <laughs> <laughs> What a great question, Tom. I'm not sure why I wouldn't know what Doesn't Shohei's Shohei... interpreter makes. No, no, no. no. What, did, what does go. Shohei make? That's what I was asking. Oh, Sorry. Seven, $700 million over 10 years. Oh, so that'd be at seventy million a year. So, a quick five million is not going to really hurt you, buddy. <laughs> well, oh, it hurts. I for, I first heard the story <laughs> is that <clears throat> the first version I heard is that his interpreter, his friend, was in trouble and uh, needed money, and Shohei didn't know that it concerned gambling. Right? So, so Shohei said, "Yeah, sure, yeah, take the money. Uh, no, no problem." Gave him five million dollars. Mm. So I guess he made five million dollars last year, right? Yeah, technically. How come these guys yeah. never win? I'm sure that if I was in a, a similar situation, 
and I needed five million dollars really quick. <laughs> Don't you think the Bob and Tom show would step up? Well, not only me, but any of us might be in pro have that's a problem. That's a, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I'd sell an organ or two for you. Thank you, yes. Josh, the first one to be well, heard from. What is a, I have what a is couple a thousand dollars. Like, like what kidding. does a liver go for? Uh, I would give you what I could. <laughs> Which would be nothing. This is the man who has had has had a dry cleaner. Why do I think plastic I get a window for the last three? A grocery months. sack full of noodles, ramen, and uh, hey, so how long? Towels. How long is a you, old VHS of Riptide? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. That's all I got, man. <laughs> the back window of your car has been broken for how many months? The window has slid down last August, okay? The window slid down last August, and you've replaced it with dry cleaner plastic. <laughs> Until I get have a chance to get it repaired. He's busy, man. Hey, tell, 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 tell you what. Chance. You made the great offer to lend me your Suburban so I can go get it fixed. That's so right. I, I can't do that because I've already lent my Suburban to Noah. I, know. I don't have it right now. <laughs> I know. Oh, God, it's unbelievable. No. And that's why you said that because you knew. Oh, you didn't see what awful. Noah did to his last car? Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's going to come back all the <laughs> I already pulled right out in front of that guy. Uh, poor Noah. Noah has a death wish. You know that, right? <laughs> so we'll find out about uh, Shohei uh, and what's going on there. Uh, Pat. Yes. And the NCAA tournament. Uh, Get comfy. Noon Eastern today. It's feet up in front of the TV, baby. Oh, I'm glad oh you boy. mentioned that because our little contest, thanks to Orange Insoles, yes. it, it kicks in, uh, I think, 11 o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Time. So you got to have your picks in by 11. Yeah, get, those, get, get that bracket filled out right now. Mm -hmm. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest and get all the details. Thank you, Orange Insoles. You and a million bucks. And today, the shoe of the week returns from orangeinsoles.com, and it says here, I'm going to pick for Thursday's game. Uh, I take that as every one of them. So stand by, <laughs> stand by for that. <laughs> you better get to work. Yes, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Thank you. Now, are you going to tell everybody your bet you made with me? I bet Tom, and I will open it to all of you. Yes, Pat, Christy. If uh, the Purdue Boilermakers lose tomorrow night to the number 16 seed, uh, Grambling. Uh, Grambling. They yeah. just Grambling just won last night. I right. think in overtime. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great Purdue game. and Grambling. If if Grambling beats Purdue tomorrow night at Gaines Bridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, I'm going to give everybody I know 20 bucks <laughs> 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 because I feel I'm going to feel so and, and horrible because this would be a tradition for Purdue. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you even talk like that? Because I, Jason went to Purdue when he worked. Because everybody <laughs> works for Purdue. Thanks. Everybody. Everybody's been taught. Oh, your uh, ex uh, whatever went to Purdue, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. my daughter. Went to Purdue. She works yeah. for Purdue. Thanks. I challenge you but to read. Does she get twenty? Does she get twenty? Yeah, yeah. I challenge you to find a story about the Boilermakers playing tomorrow night that doesn't mention I they know. lost to Fairleigh Dickinson. Sure. So, yeah. Grand Lake State came back to win that game. It was really amazing. Montana was up like fifteen the Tigers. points. Rambling, uh, grambling. Yeah. Fairleigh Dickinson always reminded me of uh, like it sounds like uh, well they're partly Dickinson. Yeah. And Haile Selassie <laughs> and his brother, partly. Sounds like what your uh, poetry teacher would say about one of your writings. Well, this is fairly <laughs> Dickinson. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Really more Elliot. And partly. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. um, uh, right you know now. what you can count on in this world? What's that? Raycon, everyday earbuds. Yeah. Oh. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. They've got the gel tips that are made out of... Uh, Raycon gel, and uh, <laughs> they'll fit any ear. That's the point here. They fit it. Uh, they fit every ear ever made. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what, whatever it was was surly. And what, that's the point. <laughs> I, think, I think they're made of Raycon gel. They Raycon, stay in your ears. Raycon gel sounds like something from Flash Gordon in the fifties. <laughs> <Yeah. 50s>. Raycon. <laughs> All the Martians are wearing Raycon gel tips. <laughs> Maybe you're out walking them damn dogs, or chatting on the telephone, or doing both. <laughs> Guess what? Raycon Everyday Earbuds, they stay in your ears where they belong. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and seamless Bluetooth syncing. Plus, they have earbud tap functions, noise isolation, awareness mode, and, of course, we have a dear deal for you, a dear deal. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. There, that's where you go. Buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off your Raycon order right off the top. It's almost like Shohei Otani's paying 20% <laughs> off for you. How about you. that? Thank, huh? you, Shohei. Thank you very much, Shohei. Yeah. You'll get 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. And to quote Tom, uh, they fit in the ear. That's the point here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't you forget it. Yeah. They fit in any ear. Oh, and by the way, Shohei Otani. 
Hey, hey Otani. Otani. <laughs> I was going to say, show him what? I was going to say, show him what, too. I thought that's what we oh, were supposed and, to say. You and Pat were yeah, correct. Show, show so him what? Do it what? again. I'm sorry. Show. Hey, Otani. Show, show him what? <laughs> I gave a little sauce at the end. Okay. Uh, when we come back, know, Pat. say Saquon Barkley, people. I'm uh, sorry. When we come back, Pat, I've got an idea for you to do one of your songs. Out I'm, the parking I'm looking lot. forward to it. I mean, okay. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Out you can certainly lot. look forward to that. Also, we have uh, all kinds of cool news this morning. We got parrots. I've, oh, I got a letter from a guy who... Can we get who, a parrot for the studio? No. That parrot, would be so cool. Parrots are, ah, what's parrot, that, chummy? Parrots require <laughs> a great deal of work. Don't get one unless you know what you're doing. Ah, there's parrot. Uh, we got a letter from a guy who was uh, shot. Um... God, well, Tom. He should have written the police. <laughs> well, <out of> nowhere. <laughs> we got a letter from Greg, who was actually shot. Let's you and I, uh, Josh, you, we'll, we'll get fake badges, go over there, see what the story is. <laughs> uh, we'll find out with what and why. What's the problem, sir? When we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You don't say we. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> Who else have you met? With you this know. voice that you any, anybody else? I've met I've met everybody I do except for Denzel Washington. He's hmm. the one I haven't met. Um, Is anyone I'll... upset by your imitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, Sorry. there's uh, we're, Kanye had a lot to say. <laughs> but oh, really? He's that's, usually so sad. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, did you really count that of him being mad? At you? That was just him being Kanye. Yeah, that's Shannon dope. Sharp hates my impression. <laughs> he cannot stand it. I'm guessing because it's accurate. <laughs> you know, that. That's what I believe. I thought it would. I thought it would bite on. I thought it would make it. <laughs> and you know the fact that Thanon doesn't like it is just offensive to me. But you know yeah. some people. I hear you. Some people just you know skip, skip, skip. skip. <laughs> some people just don't like mirrors. Skip. <laughs> but when you see the mirror, you say to yourself, "Do I really sound like that?" And I'm gonna be right there on the other side saying, "Yes, you do." <laughs> Shannon hates it, man. It's it. Everybody else, I haven't. And Ben Carson had a little bit to say, but, you know, he ain't popping, so whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? he, he, can, he can say whatever. I, I pretty much, that was like my that was like my, it was a character, pretty much. <laughs> he was sleeping. It wasn't sleepy, even an impression. Man. I did these little cat hands. <laughs> you know, right. the hand, yeah. with the hands like this, yeah. and I would turn my face, and so many people would ask me. They'd come to my shows. Can we do the Ben Carson pose? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is actually a thing. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think it was a thing, but so I got, so there's people sending me pictures, posing like this. Even somebody sent me a picture of their cat doing it. <laughs> their cat? There was, a, there was a picture of a baby. He was doing it. <laughs> I was like, I did not know that this obscure impression had so much premise over you all. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, what's he, is, what is he, like, secretary of something? He may, he may be retiring. Yeah, he's, something. He's, something. he's secretary of we, housing. We don't got to, yeah, yeah, you know. We got, <laughs> I'm just, let's get past him. We just, want him. we just want him to have, you know, something really something high profile do, so you can bring yeah. it back. Back. Oh, I wish, man. You know, he just needs to go fill out an application and work at Arby's. I want to. <laughs> I want to parry you. Have a philosophy on uh, doing impressions of people who are no longer with us. Uh, do I? Do, I, I mean, yeah. Okay can you that? do Taft? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, William Taft. William Taft. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my FDR is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> you my sit. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Sit yeah, I definitely sit down. For that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Teddy Roosevelt, but I do FDR. <laughs> <laughs> he has a back of a chocolate declare. <laughs> That's one of his famous quotes. <laughs> Jay Farrow is our guest. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. 
The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Seven. Greg Hahn is our guest. <laughs> I went out with this one girl. Can I say this? Yeah. Sure. Get a load of this. I'm on a date. I was out with this girl, right? Here's what she says. It's true. She says, oh, I did something she didn't like. She goes, oh, you just lost some points. <laughs> oh, there's points involved. <laughs> it's a point system that the women have. It's a point system. Men, we don't know what's going on. All we know is it involves points, and all of a sudden, we're down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really? How many did I start out with? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. You're just going to lose more points. Well, transfer my account to your younger sister. <laughs> I actually uh, have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right. Woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety first. <laughs> Comedian Bruce Clark is our guest. Come on, that Pictionary. You ever play that game? Pictionary? Sure. Yeah. That's we almost game. got in a fist fight over that, didn't oh, yeah. we, Chick? Yeah, we hey, sure did. And then uh, you play with your friends, they're always drunk, too. You know, all your buddies are always <laughs> loaded up. Mm -hmm. Playing there. I get this uh, phrase, I draw it, you know, they're like, hey, how about a guy frying his own penis? How about that? What the hell's about here? That's in Pictionary. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it's Peter Pan, you idiot. <laughs> In front of here, you moron. <laughs> Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Hello. Hi. Hello, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Um, I've right. got a couple quick things over here. Um, we had an unusual news story yesterday about uh, some turkey hunters. Remember the story, Christy, and this guy, uh, uh, shot unfortunately... A, shot a guy. Yeah, he, he uh, shot at a fellow turkey hunter by, by accident, of course. Right. And I was talking to a friend of mine who hunts turkeys, and I guess it's pretty tricky when you're out there. Yeah, yeah. You got your... It's like splitting the atom. Yeah, it's really... No, I mean, you're, you're down on the grass, and <laughs> you see something moving, you got to you, you want to make sure it's a turkey before you pull the trigger, apparently. Is, oh, here's is, an is idea. That's the essence of this. Don't go turkey hunting. If it's that hard. How about that? Well, that's the whole the challenge. I, my, my good friend I is challenge... A, you know how I challenge myself? I wake up every morning, okay? <laughs> and here I am. No wonder I didn't shoot any turkeys. I was way up in a stand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had to be down on the ground. And why are they doing it with bow and arrow or something like... You get out there with the AK. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... Teach uh, those turkeys who's Now, balls. our friend Alan, he does it with a bow and arrow. But the guy in the store yesterday... He was using a gun. He got shot. And he, he, he shot, said... Shot a guy twice. And what did he say when he got shot? Uh, what did he say? I thought Ouch. he was a Ouch. turkey. Oh, yeah, he thought he was a male turkey. And then he, he shouted out, oh, my God, I've been shot. Oh, that guy shouted yeah. out. Oh, oh, yeah. The um, You know who didn't get shot? Me. I don't turkey hunt. <laughs> again, again That's gonna happen. your challenge is here. Oh, here. Yeah, the hunter told police he fired his shotgun at the male turkey, what he thought was a male turkey. He then heard someone shout, they had been shot. Now, I got this letter from Greg, who was kind enough to write, Dear Bob and Tom, I got shot pheasant hunting. Man. I was Jeez. shot with a shotgun. I didn't yell, I've been shot. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I said, son of a bitch, I've been hit. <laughs> I've been hit. I've been hit. <laughs> he goes, I am now 76 years old. I still have 16 BBs in my legs. Mm. Really? Far be it from me to bring up real life. But you know there's more than one or two people listening to us right now who through life's whatever's happened to them, they took one of their best friends out hunting and only one of them came back <laughs> because one of them was having an affair with her, the other one or whatever. Yeah. I bet you that happens every Oh, I see what you're Every saying. Every week. But it did, it, did not have, like it, it did not happen to our letter writer, the no, aforementioned, no. what did I call him, and Greg? I meant, away I, I, meant, I meant Steve. <laughs> it's kind of the perfect crime. In a way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, 
I thought, I, oh, whoops, oh, whoops, I thought it was a deer. The oops. Yeah. Why this would a deer be wearing a Phillies hat? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, this is why when you go jerk hunting, don't wear a, an American, Native American headdress. <laughs> you might get mistaken as a turkey. Uh, now, Pat, I, I, uh, I had an idea for you. All right. Um, we also had a unusual story about a, uh, a rather odd name. Uh, we, we get these all the time. People, uh, when they name their kids, they it's more about them than about the kid. And this uh, this lady named her kid, um, it's kind of a nice name, Juliet Maria, except she spelled it G-H-I-U-L-I-Y-E-T-T-E. So it looks like... And Maria was M-A-H-R-I-Y. It's a, it's a stripper name, whatever. Um, oh, God. Remember the tune you had? We, we were talking about this led to a discussion of Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. And he named his kid... Uh, something like uh, XRT XASH dash twelve. <laughs> okay, I should know that it's it's my password um, on this computer. But uh, <laughs> didn't you have a song about that? Yeah. Dust off my Johnny Cash for you. Dad left for Mars when I was three. He didn't leave much to ma and me. Just these rusty Tesla parts up on the shelf. He bought Twitter, then named it X. But Dad, what the heck? Why'd you name me X A S H? A-12. <laughs> well, it's the year 2525, and thanks to science, I'm still alive. I found a note in that old Tesla address to me. It said, Dear X, A-S-H-A-12, this is your dad, Elon, and I'd like to dwell into why we gave you that ridiculous name. You see, I'm an eccentric billionaire, and your mom was a singer who used to be Claire. She did performance art and called herself C. We smoked a lot of pot, and I forget, but I think we just picked from the alphabet, so don't blame all this naming nonsense on me. Well, Dad, looking back, I think it's sort of mean, but being a musk is kind of keen, and hell, I changed my name years ago to Sue. Changed my gender, too. How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Uh, You're a, little bit of, a little bit of a boy named Sue. Uh, now, uh, we turn to the uh, sports page where we have uh, Mr. Chick McGee here on the Bob and Tom program. Dodgers enter the season, the World Series favorite, and uh, they're rolling right along yesterday, in case you missed it, as uh, Game 2 is underway. Uh, I haven't checked in yet. Uh, but uh, yesterday, the Dodgers win 5-2, uh, 5-2, 7-2? No. <laughs> Dodgers rally for four runs in the eighth to win their season opener 5-2 against the Padres at, uh, how are we saying this uh, word? G-O-C-H-E-O-K, Sky Dome. Go ahead, talk among yourselves. Go, I, it was fast. G O C H. Go, go choke. G O C H E O K. All one word. Mm. Mm. Yeah, me. Go kill. And then it says Sky Dome, which I can pronounce. How about that? Where is the stadium again? Seoul, South Korea. Uh, okay. I believe it's pronounced Kizar. Does anyone other than me know, what? know where Kizar Stadium was? <laughs> no, Kizar Stadium. It's where the San Francisco 49ers <laughs> used to pay, play with John Brody was their quarterback. <laughs> oh, Keys, was it not Quasar? It was Kizar. Kizar Stadium. K e y s a r. I just thought Keysar I would think of a, a very old American no, stadium because I don't know how to pronounce South oh. Korean stadiums. And somebody had a ground ball, a first baseman, and went through his glove. I mean, went through, tore through oh, the yeah. glove. What? Tore through the uh, the webbing. The webbing. Tore right through it. Jeez. And the, the announcer said it had something to do with the Arnold era of Rawlings. And I didn't know what they <laughs> meant. Ah, there you go. Didn't you work for the Rawlings Corporation, Josh? I was in quality control. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a day off? What happened? <laughs> and these gloves, yeah. you know, after a while, they are a surface. I and was afraid this would happen. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> the world's biggest stage. Uh, does the average Major League Baseball player have more than one glove? Or yeah. Are they, okay, but they're I typically identical? That's what's in those bags. Yes, yeah. But they, um, I mean, they definitely have... Their their main glove, but if they do have uh, backups. Uh, yes, yeah, because well, you want a broken in right, obviously. Did you used to oil them up? Yeah, I would do that. I'd oil them up, and uh, I mean, it depends. There are so many wives' tales out there about how to break in a glove. 
The best way is just to play catch? I got an idea for you. <laughs> yeah? Here's what you do. Yeah. You take your catcher's mitt. <laughs> a little KY? A little KY. <laughs> a little natural. All right, all right. Okay. Emollient. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll have to turn the lights on. Move on, apparently. Uh, March Madness last night. Uh, first four, last four, last two games. Uh, Colorado beat Boise State 60-53. And uh, in overtime, Grambling. The Tigers over Montana State 88-81. Uh, NIT uh, yesterday. Uh, Tom, do you have any predictions on these uh, National Invitational Tournament games? Uh, I don't like the nitpick. Okay. <laughs> uh, UNLV, Seton Hall, Bradley, uh, Indiana State all move on. Cincinnati wins in overtime. And Virginia Commonwealth, VCU upsetting number one seed Villanova, 70-61 to 61 in the NIT. And then you have, Tom, did you guys know there's also, remember the CIT? No. We are the CIT. Is this a, is this a ladies' tournament? <laughs> no. Uh, this is... Oh, just CIT. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah, glad yeah. they're not a league. All right. <laughs> Central League International <laughs> Tournament. <laughs> Fort Wayne over Bowling Green and Alabama A&M beat Austin P. What is the CIT? And remember their, their Austin cheer. Pendleton, the great actor? Uh, let's go P. <laughs> what is this? Let's go P. <laughs> no, no. Tarleton beat Abilene Christian. I don't know what CIT stands for. College Invitational Tournament, I think. Okay. So we could jam an L in there if you'd like, <laughs> this, and I know this, you would. Okay. Is this Division One? And there's also a CBI. Are those all Division with? Yeah, they're Tom. Division uh, Division One. Uh, one. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Wait, so if you don't make one of these tournaments, you really blow, huh? I don't know. I. That's probably the reason that the NCAA tournament doesn't yet expand to have all, everybody. They'd, I think they'd have just have one more weekend and everybody could play. Now, uh, coming up, uh, it's going to be the Orange Insoles shoe of the Week extravaganza with Chick McGee. Yes, sir. You're gonna be, you're, it's my understanding you're going to pick one from uh, each, each of the four regions. Each, okay, From each region, that's right. And then you've also got the Grambling Purdue bet. Yes. Uh, because you were born a Grambling man. <laughs> You, oh, is that right? As Dickie Betts used to sing. <laughs> Lord, I was born a grambling man. Can, can, we, go, you? can we go one morning without less Dudek on the other guitar besides hey. Dickie Betts? Oh, he's just trying to make a living, doing the best he can. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> well, if you're going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Great Where Dickie Betts. I? Oh, I got a story just for Tom because this I've learned from at the feet of the master. I know what sports is. Chess is sports, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Elon Musk, yeah. his startup Neuralink streamed a live video yesterday that showed a patient using the Neuralink brain implant to move a mouse and play chess on a computer. Really? Whoa. I don't like this. Nolan Arbaugh, 29, the first human patient to get implanted with Neuralink's device. Kill him, kill him! <laughs> the company <laughs> is developing brain-computer interface, or, of course, BCI, that aims to help patients with severe paralysis control external technologies using only neural signals. Oh, well, I yeah. like the implications of that, of course. Sure. Although... I think they would have to open this up to everybody if you'd want a brain implant. I, other, I mean, other than when you're walking that? past the refrigerator, you piss your pants. I mean, I don't see any downside to this, Tom. Don't turn on the microwave. It makes me poop. Uh, Neuralink's first product is called telepathy. Oh. This is great. So this is for those that are paralyzed. They could uh, That's what it do mentions. tasks. That's amazing. Yes. Well, right. That well, is amazing. Not, it could move a mouse on a screen. Well, that's you, step you one. You can't have a. You can't have somebody just with one of these change the oil in your car. I mean, hey, remember your right, right. the phone that you adore uh, that that began with the game Pong. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Give me a lesson in electronics. Will you, Tom? <laughs> well, I think if you'd read the biography of Steve Jobs, you'd be fully aware of that. <sighs> What, what what happened before Pong? How how did they well, arrive? Steve Jobs at Pong? actually uh, he was. Where did uh, Steve Jobs steal Pong from? He uh, there was a lot going on way before Steve Jobs got involved. Of course there was. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know you know what his first thing was? I don't care. He developed a way. To, remember, <laughs> I, I'm sure I, sh I I bet you ten bucks somebody else invented it. <laughs> Well, that may be the case, but I'll talk to you, Chris. You remember how back in the day you'd put quarters in the phone and it would make that noise? He developed a thing where you could hold it up to a phone, it would imitate that noise, and you could make free phone, long-distance phone calls. What a hero. 
Must think he was a hero. So man. he's a charlatan. He's, yes, he's, exactly. He's, he's, he's a, a petty he's thief. He's a thief. A yes. dark, not even a good one. <laughs> yeah. He's a Damon Runyon character. Well, now he's, he's a, a, now he's, yeah. Now he's a confident, uh, holistic Corpse? dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take the Laetrile. Well, that'll work. Oh, my gosh. You and Steve McQueen can play chess. Now, um, what have you got over there? Do we want to do the uh, picks? I've got the picks right here for the shoe of the week. Already? Well, yeah. You don't see the grass growing well, no, under my No, you got to wait on that. Yeah. Right. And by the way, I do have. Uh, edge I will it. have the final edit of our uh, of French Olympic theme song probably by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh. my breath held. I can't wait to I have hear how mediocre this is I going have to the be. The preliminary. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll tell our. <laughs> One of the best people I know who did this. I'll tell them that you you said. Let me, that. Let, me let me ask you something. How do you how do you get on this list of yours of the best people you know? Because I've never been on that. You have some sad sack story that you come to Tom with. He's like, oh, my bicycle exploded. You know, every, was, and, <laughs> and everybody listening, and every every everybody in this room, uh, in Pat, of course, yes. is a mess. But and we're all we've all got something, and you it, it's just amazing. How you just go? Oh, this guy we need. Oh, he's we the best. Need his, he needs our help. He's a great human being. He's a great, awesome. You know, you know. Have we met him? Have we? Uh, yes, yeah. you have. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, Matt. Oh, he is he not a great people human walk on yes, him all the time. He's a wonderful, oh, yeah, yeah, most charitable walk-on. person I've ever yeah. met in my life. Yeah. Heart as big as this room. Oh yeah. yeah. So he's Super. not charging you for this song. He's so charitable. <laughs> I'm just like that, only the exact opposite. Uh, you know me. I hate people. He used to be my neighbor, actually. All my, all me. Used to be Christie's neighbor. That's all I think of. I remember Ran you, off to Florida. He wrote, he, 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 he wrote that song. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> it's a classic. Yeah. Uh, now, um, tell me what's coming up in sports. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Christy, Christy, what's coming up in the news? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're we, lesser people. I'm surprised we uh, arrived at work. We have another lion mauling. We have carrots in the news and parrots in the news. And parrots, parrots and parrots. And parrots. Oh, carrots my. and parrots. Oh, my. <laughs> and we have a lady born with two vaginas. Oh, double your pleasure. Working, uh, too. Uh, you could have a baby in each. Style, and no, that you can't. Yeah, you, you have to have double wombs. She then. does. She has she double does, wombs, yeah. double cervix. Two wombs with a view. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, what's interesting, of course, this is will not surprise you, Josh. She, of course, is an OnlyFans model. Yeah. yeah. Why not take advantage yeah, of that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not sure how they show that. I assume you. Here's what we're gonna do. You got two of them, right? Huh? You keep one sacred. That's hey, what I got say. The, I'd like you to introduce uh, the double speculum. Uh, uh, she's remember, not you know how Jimmy Page plays the guitar with two necks? This he's got a. She's got a gyno that has a speculum, but they're both mounted on the Two same beats. thing. Uh, now, oh, this lady's sharing, so to speak. She won. Mm. Sharing. <sighs> her vaginas. <laughs> well, that's how, how altruistic of her. Yeah. I'm kind of a virgin. Yeah, she's not keeping one to herself, if that's what you're thinking. We'll, we'll no. find out about that exciting story. Uh, also, um, uh, coming up, uh, we have uh, exciting news from the world of selfies, oh. uh, actually. Uh, but right now, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is all about therapy and about accessing therapy in a uh, in a much quicker way. And uh, you, finding out what matters to you is really important, and that's where therapy comes in, of course. And BetterHelp, as I said, you can access therapy in a much easier way because it's all done online. It starts with an online questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist. Tens of thousands of therapists are part of this program. And once you're matched with a therapist, and by the way, you can change it any time, uh, with no charge. But once you're matched with a therapist, uh, you will be able to perform that therapy online so it can be a lot more convenient. Uh, it saves a lot of time. You don't have to drive across town to the therapist's office. You're right there, and uh, it can be done with a camera on. It can be done just like a phone call, no camera. It can be done texting back and forth. It's all about what works for you to become the best perversion, the version of yourself that you want to be. Empower yourself with therapy. And uh, to check this out, you go to betterhelp.com slash show. The slash BT show part will knock 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash BT show. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with better help. Once again, better help, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show. Take advantage of that, uh, that phone you're carrying around or that laptop and um, work on yourself. Betterhelp.com slash BT show. Bob and Tom show sponsored by Better help we're coming right back it's the bob and tom show become a bob and tom vip and get your bob and tom fix 24 7 get all the info in the vip area
Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. Oh, oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! Give See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Uh, you know, his work Come with, uh, with better, us... Too sticks and uh, he's going to be doing some solo stuff for mm -hmm. us cool mm -hmm. we have a performance room right next to this room you can see through the glass there he is oh, yeah. can you can you hear <laughs> greg <laughs> greg is greg found all the drumsticks uh, yeah, i need, need, uh, need yep. a couple more can you hear us i'm back all right okay can you hear me okay all right hold on okay <laughs> is there a? Is this? I date tons of chicks. Why day one? But she weighs tons. Come on. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Take your top off. <laughs> hey, Christy, what's in the news? He likes those symbols. That's very nice. Is that, a, is that song called Take Your Top Off? <laughs> yeah, that's my new tune. It's a big hit. Uh -huh. I, I, okay, I like that. Let me much. test you guys. You guys know music, right? All right. Yeah, sure. All right, let me Okay. What song is this? What song is this? Name that tune. Well, there's about 10,000 yeah, songs. Yeah, let's start that, that way. Uh, the B-52s, Love Shack. I thought you guys knew music. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Love Anybody? Shack. Love. Walk like an Egyptian. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was very nice. You, uh, can I do a request? C certainly. Uh, can you do Mississippi Queen? Well, where's, where's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You need cowbell. Here we go. Come on. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. You nailed it. Hey, wait, what about, what about a Honky Talk Women from the Stones? How's that go? No, no, you gotta you get the cowbell. cowbell. You gotta get. I thought you knew music. Uh huh. Come on. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna spit it on me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's what's not this? it. What's it's this? Dunk, dunk. That's Mississippi That's Queen again. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> How about this song right here? I don't That's know. That's a Pink Floyd tune right in the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I give up. All what right, what all was right. that one? I know, I was just laying down some funk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it down. Greg Hahn is our guest. Didn't you notice I'm limping? What happened? Did you blow a knee out? Well, my knees do hurt. What do you mean? Well, we were on our way home last night, and Bob started feeling romantic, so we pulled down a gravel road. And today, my knees are really killing me. Girlfriend, I've got just the thing for you. They're called 
Attagirl knee pads. With their soft, cushiony padding, you can say goodbye to sore and scraped knees. Attagirl knee pads fit right in your purse, so you can take them anywhere. Perfect for a Friday night date or that important job interview. Hey, Brenda, how'd it go last night? <laughs> well, my knees feel great, but, uh, <clears throat> do the Attagirl people make lozenges? <laughs> <laughs> you whore. Attagirl knee pads. Order today, and you'll receive a free head helmet. You'll love wearing this stylish tabletop helmet with its flat, level surface, big enough to hold his beer, remote control, and a magazine. At a girl knee pass. Protective goggles sold separately. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Frank Caliendo. Some people don't like John Madden. I love John Madden because he makes me feel smart. Madden will say things in a game you don't need to hear. He'll say things like, hey, if the if the if the quarterback if uh, if he throws the ball and, and a receiver if he catches it in the end zone, then that, that's gonna that, that's gonna that, 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 that's gonna that's gonna be a touchdown. <laughs> John, what did you think the most important thing was? Well, the the, the best game to win is the third game, and uh, you, you can have the first game and you might have the fourth game, but the third. Game, Game. If you're playing 25 games, then it's the 23rd game. If you're playing 75 games, 73rd. It's always a three because it looks like half an eight. And, uh, when, you, when you realize that a half an eight, you can't figure eight. You can do a figure eight while you're skating, but you can't do a figure three. And if you could do a figure three, that would probably be uh, amazing. But uh, uh, back to what we're talking about. Great football is, uh, is about great football. And when you're playing great football, hey, hey, hey that's the best kind of football. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, it's comedian Roy. Tales in a minute. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Christy, Josh, Ace, Pat Godwin. I'm Chick. Hello, Tom. Uh, hello. How's it going over there? Super duper. Uh, coming up, I understand it's going to be those orange insoles. St uh, Chick McGee shoeing of the week basketball picks. Locks, baby. Absolute locks. All right. We'll look forward to that. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, basketball action, of course. It's March Madness. What have you got over there? We've got one of these. Stupid world record. Two women are attempting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Is this all just uh, attempted? Uh, two women are trying to set the Guinness World Record for the longest distance driven in toy cars. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lil Feldman Louise. Uh, toy cars. Mm. Ms. Cassie Aran and her friend, identified as Lauren. Boy, that sounds like <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Margaret's coming over. She's bringing her friend Lauren. <laughs> we had a lot of that now you up. call her Aunt Lauren. <laughs> yeah. You all right? Wait a minute here. Okay. What do you got, Edward R. Murrow? No, I don't have I'm, all the names and stuff. Is I'm, that your no, beef? I'm just. You know you're not to talking to me. Along. You know you're not talking I know. to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Ms. MS period. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cassie Aran, A R A N, and her friend identified as Lauren. Yes. Aran. No, no last name. Aran so far away. <laughs> please a little please tell me seagulls. that's not the only reason we're doing this <laughs> no, 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 no. This story. <laughs> They're planning to tackle a five hundred mile drive down the coast of Florida in battery powered toy cars. I see. They're gonna die. They're gonna die. I mean, come on! You drive off a do a real car, a real car versus a plastic Mercedes. Come on! Jacksonville to Key West supposed to uh, expected to take two months. Two months. That's all. No, that's well, all we have. When they get to Alligator Alley, look out! Those I did see video of this, these girls this morning on TV. Yeah, go ahead, Ace. Look kind of stupid. Look kind of stupid. Ace, uh, adults in toy cars looks kind of stupid. Yeah, they're going to be right right there at eye level with the gators. This is dangerous. Well, what kind of well, toy car is it, Well, Tom? they can't get on the highway. No, they can't. Are they on the shoulder? Where are, uh, uh, where, where are they? Are they on the side streets? roads? Yes, the videos roads. showed them pulling up to a hotel and then driving through the hallways. 
the hallways. The hallways. Wow. Well, they're not going to get anywhere just in the hallway. <laughs> no, no. Gonna get you got to look floor. for an off ramp. You got to get out of there. You're going to make horrible time stuck in the hotel. <laughs> it just seems, sounds really unsafe. I'm, I'm, I, they're going to have to be on some kind of road with real traffic. Lauren, by the way, she asked not to have them use her last name, so she must be incognito. <laughs> mm. Oh, really? But they're yeah. they're not, they're doing press. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Her, yeah, her family doesn't know she's left them yet. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm trying to find a picture of the cars. This is from the, oh, Guin the, here we go. the Guinness World Record what website. What kind of toy cars are they? They're like, like those Barbie electric cars. Can you see that? They're. Now, from here, that looks like a nice Porsche. I don't know. Like well, bump, I don't like know a bumper what car, right? They kind of look like, I don't know what they are. Teslas? I yeah, mean, they're not know. those traditional, you know, you see little kids in those little motorized cars. <laughs> they're little, but they're... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Why don't they do use the uh, little tax cars? Oh, wow, isn't yeah. That the, uh, isn't that the number one selling car in the history of the world? The Must little, be. Little tight car? Like yeah. vets? Yeah. Th these things, they look, they're about the size they look uh, cool. of a Dodgem car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they look cool. Don't you love the Dodgems? And that great smell of... I like that smell. Whatever that is, like burning lead or something. I'm sure it's incredibly toxic. Oh, yeah. It's, it's great. It's taken four years off each of our lives. Yeah, sure. oh, yeah. with it. All of your best best days of your life were at that smelt factory, wasn't it? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did you, have you done the Dodgems lately? I haven't done a bumper car in so long. No. I did, yeah. Oh, I did them last year. I did them for like an hour. I found Do that, they still uh, spark at the top or they... No. No? Well. And your story is uh, confirming my suspicion. Uh, Dodge cars, bumper cars, whatever you like, are primarily built for bullies. They, uh, yeah, they're they, great. They get there and they just... The bullies... What you, what you want to do is get into a corner, bullies, get work in. up some speed, yeah, and then wait for some sucker coming around and ram them. Oh, yeah, that is a bullying yeah. way to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Watch their next he, swing back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go visit them later, six years you? Six years later in the chair. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, the Dodgems. Okay. These okay. girls look like twins. What do they do? They have to charge them up, right? So yeah, that's to... probably why it takes so long. Yeah. Okay. They're being interviewed here. <laughs> Yeah. Are you looking at that? Yeah. Are you looking yeah. at this? Is that yeah, what the, you're looking yeah, at? That gal in the middle. Hey, here's the story. <laughs> and here's the, gal, the car. That gal in the middle's not getting in that car. It looks oh, like she ate it. Hey. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God. wait a minute. <laughs> this lady's not overweight, is she? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there not just Tom was. overweight, which is what, five pounds? <laughs> right, right, right. She's, uh, yeah. She and looks like she ate an electric car, a toy car, right? These girls are driving on the sidewalks. Yeah, they can, yeah. They can primarily do sidewalks. <laughs> they both fit. Um, when the, the toy cars they're driving in, which took me 15 seconds to find mm -hmm. the toy cars mm -hmm. and a decent picture, that you ride on top of the car, more or less. You don't right. get into the car. Yeah. Well, they're okay. They're kind of cute. They they look like... Oh, I see the overweight lady you were talking about, Tom. <laughs> yes. You can imagine... How he just can't stand it, yeah. Oh, I just said if she got on top of that car, it wouldn't be moving. <laughs> <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. Oh, they even have little, they even have little wagons that they're pulling behind their little oh, right. We have cars. spent far <laughs> too much time <laughs> on these silly, silly I've, girls. I'm Someone surprised she was able, to, able to pull herself away for the interview <laughs> and not be eating. <laughs> well, well, well. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, what else have you got over there? <laughs> mm, um, I've got the uh, shoe of the week coming up. Okay. It's exciting. You, you told me not to do it here. Oh, no, I thought Christy did, but... Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. I and evidently, Christy's in, in, in No, no, charge, you, no so. you can do it. You want to do, you're ready to go? No. No, no. no if you don't want, to, want me to... No, I'd be, that'd be fine with me. <laughs> the only world record we had today was an attempt... Not this right. is directly from the Guinness World Record page. Well, they can suck it. <laughs> but they want people I to thought be... we had one from yesterday that we didn't get to because you asked me about it. Oh, that was the sock story. No. Oh, there was did we ever do one. the sock story? We did. We the finally did that one, yeah. <laughs> Matching shot socks. I can't yeah. imagine that I, I'd forgotten that. Yeah, that, that broadcast excellence. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the soccer player, they, they couldn't hey. tell their socks apart. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, 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 so, are you doing the picks? Nah, the moment's gone. Okay. <laughs> moment's gone. Uh, coming up, if you're planning on marrying your first cousin, 
Yes. Everybody shut up. You better hurry <laughs> if you live in Tennessee. <laughs> They're trying to make it illegal. <laughs> Timely. <laughs> well, she's not my first cousin. Her dad is my mom's brother. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. All right. We'll, we'll find out about that coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a over. wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest, Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. What's the, what's the exact correct name of this? The Pickle Dog. The Pickle, pickle dog. dog. Pickle Dog. Okay, now, well, we are all Pickle Dog virgins. So, Bob, why don't you go first, and I'll right. do the play-by-play. -play. Bob, you're right hand. You're supposed to put your left hand behind your head <laughs> <laughs> before you. Oh, no! Pickle Dog down! Okay, uh, Bob Bob is now chewing the Pickle Dog. He's about to give his analysis and his review. Uh, Bob. It's delicious. It is delicious. It gets a thumbs up from Bob. <laughs> it's very messy. Are they going to be able to show this very on the TV messy. show? I know. John, eat it. It's very messy. Bob, your thoughts? John, I, 
Mm. I shot my hot dog. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right mm. out of the uh, right out of the pickle, out of the canoe. Well, well some pi- some people get a little excited when they have the first pickle dog. Well, you know, I, I did, and I um, I made a <laughs> I've created a huge <laughs> huge mess over here that actually looks somewhat like a porn shoot. <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't know he was dead? No, I thought he was sleeping. So you left him there? We left him So you all, the second show, so you all went home? We all went home, so, so he's you, dead on the couch. So you get a call the next morning? Get a call the next morning, and uh, Larry answered the phone. I, we were both standing in the same condo. Larry answered, I, I, he just hear, he, he, got, he beat me to the phone. He got there, and he says, what? Who? <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's Larry Reed. <laughs> dead. This is, this is all I'm hearing. What? Who? Dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, who, that could be uh, the man. funniest thing I've ever heard in this room. <laughs> if you could do an impression of a guy with three words what? and nail who? it. Dead. 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 <laughs> and and I, I've got this look on my face of the Larry like, what? 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 He hands the up the phone, looks right at me, says, Frickin' Ron's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That was it. Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Also joining us uh, in the studio, comedian John Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I, I find that now that I, I need a woman, I mean, uh, uh, integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh-huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, mm. but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're going to spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Now, uh, do you have any animals? Uh, I got a, two horses, about 15 chickens, dogs, cats. So you are in the country, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. gravel road, one way gravel road. Really? Do you eat the chickens? No, the eggs. Ah. My the wife eggs. said she'd never kill one of the chickens. Really? But she doesn't have any problems scrambling up the kids. <laughs> 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 Uh Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. (laughs) Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. It's more of a presentation, more of a bunch of people just hanging out. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chip. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Forgive me. I I took a bite of an RX protein bar 25 minutes ago. I'm still chewing. (laughs) Did I not tell you they were chewy? Uh, You didn't tell me they were grout. (laughs) (laughs) They really stick to the ribs. (laughs) A lot of nutrients. There's Ace Cosby. I'm I'm chewing. They are good. Here's here's. They are chewy. Now, we've been promising uh, some... uh, 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 Picks from the uh, Orange Insoles Sports Desk with Chick McGee. A little bit of a shoe of the week basketball action uh, with uh, the We don't NCAA. have a shoe of the week theme tilted toward basketball. All we have is the NFL. Oh. What about Sweet Georgia Brown? Oh, I love that. Sweet Georgia Brown. Yeah. We can, we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, are you going to stall and do another sports story? Oh, wait a minute. Are you ready for some basketball? basketball. <laughs> are you ready for some basketball? Football? Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. What do we got? I don't uh, know. From, what do got? from the, you need to shut your mouth. <laughs> We've got Boston, uh, the East Bracket. Here we go. First round. Uh, BYU is going to beat uh, Duquesne. He said to the guy actually making the picks? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Isn't that what, uh, what, what was that guy uh, tattoo from Fantasy Island said when he oh. had a limp? <laughs> Decaying. 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 How, how, how stupid. Well, oh, how I, I see. Like I, I, is it a deplane? Like that. And I should have yeah. just left it, to, uh, I yeah. let it float off into the ether. <laughs> so, uh, what was that guy's name? Shallop. Hervey. Yeah, Hervey. Tattoo. 
Yeah, Hervé Villachez, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Wasn't he in like into small. hookers and stuff? And what? And he had a wild yeah. life. He had a wild, really? sexy life. A wild, <laughs> sad life. Yeah, him and uh, Vern Troyer, the uh, mini me. They yeah. oh, oh, oh. threw it out, did they? Hot and cold, party running party. Party. Uh, sweet, oh. sweet. But, yeah. Oh wow, oh, mm. curious women out there. Went up on a, yes. went up on a lot of ladies. <laughs> I'm asking if anybody knows where Duquesne is because I do know where it is. But go ahead, I want to weigh Wisconsin? Nope. I don't know. Yep. Uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Yes. Wow. It's Good in the guess. Pittsburgh area, Duquesne. Yeah. Uh, there was a beer called Duquesne. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, smooth like the river, um, Duquesne River. Uh, I'll have to look this up. I just, I'll wait. Um, <laughs> how, how do you spell Duquesne? Uh, I'm glad you asked. F-L. It's D-U-Q-U-E. And here's the tricky part. S and E. Yeah, Ooh. Duquesne beer. Here we go. Mm. The Prince of Pilsners. Oh, wow. And is it still manufactured? And can we get a sixer in the next hour? Um, I'm the Prince of Pilsner. <laughs> they revived Duquesne beer. They currently brew its flagship Duquesne Pilsner. My father says, I'll never be king. I'll show him. <laughs> I'll kill him. I don't oh. care. And it's a, uh, apparently a Pittsburgh beer along with Iron City beer. Pramanoxa, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> you love that. <laughs> when you pee, if you drink Iron City beer and you pee, it leaves a ring around your toilet. <laughs> you got to get that iron out. <clears throat> Rust. Duquesne. Yep. So th- this, your prediction is uh, Duquesne victorious? No. no. BYU beating Duquesne. And I was Sorry. surprised by that. I th- but uh, BYU is a sixth seed, Duquesne's an 11th seed. And now we're not going against the spread or anything? Not for the brackets. Okay. No. Okay. No. Uh, and then uh, Nevada and Dayton play. Dayton, uh, the Flyers, uh, number seven seed. Uh, Ohio. Nevada. That's in Ohio. That's exactly right. And Nevada is in uh, uh, the, the uh, Nevada Southwest. Uh, <laughs> they are a tenth seed. Dayton, twenty four and seven, and uh, Nevada, twenty six and seven. I like Dayton. In that one. I'm going to go. Okay. Go Flyers. Flyers, All right. yeah. Go Flyers. And then uh, Texas Tech plays North Carolina State. North Carolina State winning the uh, the, uh, the tournament, beating, beating North Carolina. But uh, I say Texas Tech upsets uh, North Carolina State. Is that what I say? Okay, yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> These are locks. And then uh, my, my favorite pick of the morning. You big dummy. <laughs> I like Samford. They're going to beat. Kansas? <laughs> okay. Stanford or Sam? Samford, S A M F O R D. You have them beating Kansas? Uh, I'm going to be upset number four, Kansas, at 22 and Where's 10. Where's a Samford? Kansas, one of their best players, is not going to play. This is not a bad This oh. is a pretty good pick. Is he where, shaking his head? Where, where, where is Samford? Uh, I want to say Georgia, but I'm sure that's Sanford, Georgia. I don't know where Sanford is. There's a Sanford, Florida. Sanford. Sanford, Florida. Yeah, that's between uh, oh, Orlando yeah. and. Uh, Deland. Yeah, I know. Shut up. For the love of God. <laughs> we know where Deland is. <laughs> Samford University, of course, Birmingham, Alabama, ah. where passion meets purpose. Oh. Wow, I like that. Think a lot. Think about that for a little bit. Can I get his? Can I can still get into Sanford? Let me think. Sure. How about where yeah. passion meets wound measure? <laughs> Is, uh... <laughs> Whoa. Okay. You, can't, you can't say. You can't say. <laughs> Among close friends, you can't say. <laughs> we, we have, in polite society, one doesn't <laughs> oh, my, my passion took over my... <laughs> Sanford, the dogs are dancing. Hmm. Uh, number four, Kansas. Number 13, Samford. You know, stranger things have happened. Well, remember that year I bet, Tom, that a 16 would be to one? And yeah. I paid you. I paid you. Sure yeah, no, is. of course. Yeah, I'm not, <clears throat> That was RMBC and, uh, and uh, Tell me the Virginia. Samford team. Please tell me that they're, they're the fighting sons. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> some sort of... <laughs> some, the Samford sons. Wouldn't that be great? You big dummy. <laughs> uh, they, like some sort of dick dummy there. You big dummy. You big dummy. I know, but listen. You big dummy. Sounds like you're saying you dick dummy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. Hang on mistake. a second. <laughs> you big dummy. There's, it's a, it's you clearly a dick beat. dummy. It's there.
<laughs> kind of a, it's a little less threatening. All these names are also mean. It would have been one that kind of embraces love. Well, the Sanford Pussy Willows. The, they're not the fighting pussies. They're <laughs> the welcoming. However, yes. <laughs> you ever fight? The cheerleaders, interestingly enough, don't wear underwear. Tom, you talk, talk about. You don't want to fight with one of those. The flying okay. pussy willows. <laughs> You don't want to fight with a... You know what I mean. Oh, no. Uh, you're going to lose. You're yeah, going to no lose. Remember that story we had yesterday about the uh, the lady whose business... It, it, it's... Uh, what was it called? Like Puppy Flowers? Yes. And she ordered a... Uh, it was called Poppy Flowers. Oh, oh, that was a Poppy Flowers. But she ordered a bouquet and wanted poppy. a bouquet of poppies. poppies. And they gave her a bouquet in the shape... They shaped Shape-o. these... Oh, poppy. Like poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Again... Are they crapped on the flowers? <laughs> What's happening? I'm just glad they, that she didn't order pussy willows. God knows what they would have... Yeah. The sculpture would have been. <laughs> Look oh, at that, that guy. That's the Samford dog. He's that's awesome. That's the Samford uh, Muppet. Look at that. He's oh. all... Yeah, I love that's it. Huge. That's huge. He's awesome. A great mascot. <laughs> He wants some troubles. You know, what he the, wants. I mean, in all seriousness, the great thing about this tournament is you end up hearing about great universities and colleges you've sure. never heard of before. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes where well, they put absolutely. athletics in front of uh, education. No, but it gets the name out there, Josh. Yeah, yeah, to prove them. Sure. Now, now, is your team ever been in the NCAA tournament? Oh, the, my God. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Webster <laughs> Gorlocks. Webster Headlocks. Well, what are they? <laughs> my, yes, yes. The, the Webster University doesn't even pretend to be a part of any of the, any athletic. Are they like, Actually, they had like a good like uh, volleyball team. Are they something. Division One? I don't even know. That's how, like, that's how not athletic. Century. That's how much we're focused on academics. Our studies were important yes. at Webster. No, it's would just you not... have heard of? Would you have ever heard of Gonzaga had it not been for the tournament? Oh, possibly not. It, it, it's yeah. great. I think it's great getting these the names. Seattle like area, right? Is that yeah, where no, they just are? muddies up my brain with stuff I don't need to know about. Muddies up your brain. Yeah. Innovative, global, <laughs> diverse Webster <laughs> University. Do they, have one, do they have one of their that close-minded, <laughs> their, their motto is, get yes. the hell out of here? Self-centered, <laughs> close-minded. <laughs> Narrow worldviews. <laughs> We'd like to own you. <laughs> I'm just saying, would it be nice to have yeah, a little more straightforward? <laughs> Become a Gorlock, exclamation point. Now, that's your team, the Gorlocks? I mean, that's what the mascot of Webster University was. Our right? students come to us from a variety of backgrounds. Oh, look at that thing. Experience. Oh, oh, that's wow. kind of There you go. Sure. He's now a cutie. A, it, looks like a, it looks like a bulldog with weird Spock ears. So it's a Gorlock, yeah. not a Gorlock? Gore. Yeah, oh, Gorlock. Gorlock, yeah. Okay. Like Al? Yeah, because it was at the uh, intersection of Gore, G-O-R-E, and Lockwood. <laughs> so they went Gorlock. Oh, Real okay. dorky and nerdy, but uh, that's what... You know, a private liberal arts school does. I think yeah. they get their students together, and so just based on the streets. Yeah, he's yeah. from the street. Josh is from the streets. You can tell by looking at him. Hey, look, if you're from the streets of Gore and Lockwood, <laughs> you are not tough. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone. That could have really gone wrong. If you think about possible street intersections. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, and all I know is Webster music student has taken the top spot at Crescendo. Crescendo, crescendo, yeah. crescendo, exclamation point, the opera program. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, I was a media communications major there, and I don't think they've ever talked about my accomplishments. Isn't Why, that ridiculous? You're not on the Hall of Fame or something? I doubt it. I have a picture on a wall. I've never, wow. I've never given them a dollar besides what I owed them, so that's probably why. So hey. if I look up your name at yep, the, on this website. that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have a Hall of Fame? Oh, they must, yeah. Oh, we can, we can get on that. Mm. I'll get someone. Yeah, let's get Josh in the Hall of Fame. Want to? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great idea. What are we looking at there? I <laughs> searched on the Webster University website. Yeah. Sorry, no uh, results for Josh Arnold. Oh, yeah, no, I, that doesn't surprise me. I loved it, though. I, it's a great school. Well, that's nice. I loved it. Now, um, have you made all of your picks? Did we get those all done uh, for today? Yes, uh, okay. Sanford's my big upset. They're, okay. they're going to beat Kansas. All right. Uh, Man, and and once again, you also fun. promised everyone in the staff here and Christie's daughter, if Purdue <laughs> loses. Sophie. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did, uh, when did Sophie get into this? Christie volunteered her. <laughs> I'll throw the 20 bucks in. Now, how does this work again? She'll be crying. Too if much Purdue to loses it. in the first round to a, to a 16 seed, you're grambling, yeah. grambling yeah. you're giving uh, us all 20 bucks. Right. I'll give I'll give Sophie the twenty. Oh, right. it's, you just tip her on OnlyFans. It's easy. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of OnlyFans, coming up, it's ah, the so woman with uh, two vajayjays. Yeah, baby. She's on OnlyFans. Two cervix. Two and apparently a door lock, huh? Apparently two cervix, no waiting. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom show mm. is uh, proud to be uh, part of Chick McGee's life with Simply Safe. Is that correct? Mm, no, it's Josh Arnold and Jeez. the fabulous Orange uh, Orange uh, Insoles, the I proud was, sponsors of the NCAA March Madness. I was feeling uh, all unsure and and wobbly, and uh, uh, you know what? It was almost like I didn't have Orange Insoles in my shoes. Ooh. You don't want that feeling. Maybe you have oh. back pain, hip pain, or knee pain. You know how much that affects your daily routine. It's frustrating. If you're working on your feet all day, you know what you're doing? You're putting stress on your body. What kind of support is currently in your shoes, I ask you? Probably that same lame, thin liner that came with the shoes. Looks like a piece of baloney. Yes, they're that's, offering... That's not going to help you. Flimsy is what it is. You're exactly right. You'd be better off with baloney. Of course, you'd have flies following you around most of the you time. You would, perhaps ants. Zero support, though, is what you're going to have if you have that nothing liner in there. Go to OrangeInsoles.com. Why? They offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and therefore your entire body, helping to alleviate that pain and discomfort. If a table wobbles, it's because there's something wrong with the uh, support. If you're wobbling, same thing. It all starts from the ground up, my friends. They're great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes. Christy, what shoes do you have on right now? Uh, I have on New Balance. Perfect for now, orange insoles. Am yeah, I going to need scissors and a little pattern to cut out my new orange insoles? No. I'm glad you asked, Tom. God, Not no. at all. They come true to size. Go to orangeinsoles.com and fill out their insole quiz. They'll get you sized up right and get you that arch support you need. Head to orangeinsoles.com today for free shipping. Well, they'll have free shipping as well. Yeah, shipping? <laughs> yeah, not just shipping. Mm -hmm. They will. <laughs> Orange and Souls come with a 60-day we want you to be happy guarantee. We're not going to be on the air much longer. No. Well, I certainly won't be. No. Uh, it's, uh, did you know that Orange and Souls was proud to bring us those uh, shoe one of the week picks with Chick McGee? I they did. Were. Yeah. That's orangeinsouls.com. Feel better, do more, and thank you Orange and Souls for providing well, the world with better support. And you got to mention this one more time. Free shipping in the USA. <laughs> Orange insoles. Now, um, uh, coming up, uh, we have, um, have you ever heard of the nocebo effect? Yeah. It's kind of like placebo, but no. We got, we got robbery in the news. Did you see the thing about these little kids who robbed the bank? Larceny. Oh, I, oh yeah. Let them keep it. It's adorable. <laughs> That's what I said. The they use guns? Uh, the cops are calling them the little rascals. That's coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy. Uh, I remember, we weren't prepared to do this. We're That's, why, doing this That's why I'm here. stalling. G L O R I A Glory. That's not uh, Clint Black Sabbath. No. Okay. Now, how do you introduce Mr. Sabbath? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't done this in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you just take certain lyrics of some songs and put them with another song. I see. Like uh, he's going to play Born to Be Wild. Listen, and I'll tell you. <laughs> About a man named Jed. <laughs> Poor mountaineer, yeah. Barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, yeah. Up from the ground come a bubbling crew. Black gold, Texas tea. Sweet tea. <laughs> Nothing like sweet tea. Huh? Try the, I like drinking sweet tea. <laughs> That's nice. Try the other. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the other ones. Whichever one you want to do. How about... Um... You're cheating hard. <laughs> we'll make you You'll try and try and try to sleep, but sleep won't come the whole day through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
All right. This is uh, this is uh, James Sibley as Clint Black Sabbath. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Generals gathered in their masses, <laughs> just like witches at black masses. Uh, evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerer of death construction <laughs> in the fields of bodies burning <laughs> as the war machine keeps turning. <laughs> death and hatred to mankind, nice. poisoning their brainwashed mind. Oh Lord, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, right, yeah. that's good enough. <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. Uh, Clint Black Sabbath. Black very Sabbath. very too. That's great. Mm -hmm. Makes it a lot. I uh, love that. The uh, Steppenwolf thing, the Born to be Wild, you should do that if you ever go karaoke. Uh, I got to do that one? Yeah, do that. You can sing Beverly Hills. And y'all, you've heard the... Uh, Purple haze, green acres thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a that's I love this. Oh, well, I haven't heard. I that. Haven't I guess heard that, that. that always uh, makes everybody happy. The words from happy. Green Acres fit great. <laughs> green Acres is the place to be. <laughs> Farm living is the life of me. <laughs> Land spread now so far and wide. Keep Manhattan, just give me that countryside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give him a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! Ba -da -ba -da -da -ha -ha. I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh! Josh! Did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. to make a sandwich <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. and she's buying bread at 7 11 <laughs> <laughs> mm, and the bread is wonder <laughs> <laughs> I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he. Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> oh, this is a protest. <laughs> it did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Candy. Cats are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Fred. <laughs> Problems are your own. <laughs> Excuses. Oh, Hello, and welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. And here's Tom. Got it all together. A lot of stuff coming up. I want to remind everybody. <laughs> we do have it all together. Who are you trying to convince? <laughs> None of us have anything to go. No. <laughs> Close. Especially you. <laughs> Clearly, that was the intention. Oh, I see. Um, I'm just trying to get it together over here. I Tom, can I share something you just said uh, yes, uh, in the hallway with me? I love, I love everything about this, and and I'm convinced your theory is correct. He never saw the rest of it. <laughs> oh, okay, there's no doubt. No, we way were talking no. uh, movies uh, just yeah. real quickly, and, right. and uh, I I said, you know, I got uh, people made fun of me in my one of my film classes because I said Titanic is a good movie, mm -hmm. and all these pretentious uh, film students were, were trying to. 
poo poo it. Yeah, get mad at me. And my professor actually was like, "No, it is a good movie." There's some sure, it's and a damn fine movie. Yeah. Uh, vindicated. And Tom, you said it is a good movie. And there's a there's a recent uh, very sort of auteur famous uh, famous uh, foreign director who yeah. said, "Yeah, it's one of his it's favorite a, movies." Yes. And then you said, uh, "Boy, that is a good movie." That that poker scene in the beginning that is just excellent. Yeah, that's the uh, fulcrum of that movie. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I, Where I that, uh, going, that, that whole movie is, is. You might be the only person who saw Titanic and yeah. and went. Boy, I really like that poker scene. Yeah, it's just yeah. because it you it creates him as such a charming guy right off the bat. You like him. Did you, you get do? past the poker scene? And so I said to Chick, yeah. do you think <laughs> he likes the poker scene because he got distracted and that's what that's all he saw? Let me tell you something. Not only yeah. do I think that, <laughs> I'm certain <laughs> he has no idea There's that no the Titanic sunk. He has three no idea. Hours. That was a three hour movie. You, you said know how or is it sank? Well, uh, interestingly enough, I had gone to a different movie. Uh -huh. uh, at the theater. Right. And it was so boring, I got up and went over to the other movie, and I watched the last half of the Titanic first, thought it was great, then I went back and saw the movie from the beginning. Oh, okay. That's I don't movie. believe any of that. That's true. <laughs> you that that means you would have sat there, you would have been in that movie theater for <laughs> five hours? No, no, no. I did, the first movie was so crappy that I left and went next door. Mm. Did you fall asleep during, have I you didn't. ever fallen asleep during a movie? Oh, of course. Especially some of these kids' movies. Or the entire movie. Uh, Daddy, wake up. I wish I'd fallen asleep for that Spider-Man turd. <laughs> Boy, that was a, the worst thing I've ever seen. Universally, one Did of your the kids most like amazing it? movies ever made. Great reviews. Kids Incredible liked it, didn't they? Yeah, well, yeah. you know, they'd eat cake for dinner every night. If well, they that's, it's uh, not made for you, that movie. <laughs> your kids would eat cake, too, if they wanted it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you cry at Titanic? I did not. Have you oh, ever dude, cried I, at a movie? I'm like two or three times I cried during that thing. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been told um, to go see, what is it called, Everyday Angels? What Ordinary, Ordinary, Ordinary Angels. Ordinary Angels. I've been told cry. that's a that's a crier. It's a crier. I, I, I'm going to try to go see that this weekend. Sophie makes fun of me because I cry at almost every movie. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, I'm unabashed about it. I love oh, it. Oh, me too. I, I let I, it flow. <laughs> she'll look at me. She goes, are you crying? I've had an yes. usher ask me if I was okay one time. I'm not I'm yeah. not really? making that up. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, when, when Alan Rickman died. And die hard. I. Oh, that, was, uh, <laughs> that seems about right. <laughs> Fruitvale Station was the name of the movie, and I was that's a tough weeping. One. That's, a one, yeah. that's a tough one. What's that about? And the usher goes, "Are you are you all right?" <laughs> bless your bless your heart. Isn't that yeah. the one in Oakland? Yeah, yeah, that's a tough story, but oh. a beautiful movie, but yeah, I see. Well, um, yeah, our friend Drew Powell's an ordinary angel. I know, and yeah. I'm going to see it this weekend. What, what's going on over there in sports? I don't know. <laughs> what's going done? on with you? What's going on over there at uh, Control? Oh, he just ended it. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> wrapped it up before we went to commercial. Apparently it's over. I, uh, uh. Chris Day. A British woman who was born with two cervixes, two uteri, and two vajayjays has revealed how she navigates dating with this rare condition. Okay. The 25-year-old Annie Charlotte learned she had uterus didelphus when she was 16. The OnlyFans model says both sides are completely functional as she experiences two periods and can conceive two babies with two different men at the same time. Uh, that is insanity. What and is Ms. Charlotte said she is currently dating two men. What a mess. But claims she's not cheating, Josh, <laughs> because she lets them have one of her... Just one she is keeps, his? Yes. She one one, one is exclusive for, and one the other is yes, exclusive. Yes, yes. And apparently she doesn't do butt stuff, so it's not three. She doesn't. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> well, she'd probably announce it. It seems like she's Did you fairly open about her. I, I heard it. Did everyone hear that? <laughs> that was jarring. <laughs> <laughs> How many mouths does she have? I mean, we're still just the one. I, mean, so, yeah. I, I think we could get up to four. There here. are arguments. There could so. be four uh, no waiting. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a trick. Fascinating. She also announced that the two partners, the two guys, don't know about each other. Oh, but she's <laughs> announcing it publicly. Yeah. You know, I, this sounds like somebody I'd like to get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, Christy, I have ten fingers, but I don't think... Um, uh. Okay. I wonder if it's... Uh, when, oh, I was, yeah, when I was in school, um, this is a true story, there was a, a guy down the hall. Yeah? That uh, Two the, penises? The first day of, the, uh, of school <laughs> um, took a tape and put a tape line down the middle of the room. It sounds like somebody you'd go to college and with, the other or guy, it sounds like you. The other guy wasn't allowed to cross the line. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. And his dorm room? Yeah, and he was eventually kicked out. He uh, was a heavy smoker, never cleaned anything. There were dirty clothes everywhere, oh and he never God. bathed. 
they they asked him to leave. Mm. Apparently, he had very good SATs, but was a lunatic. <laughs> uh, but I'm wondering if this lady has some kind of. How does she distinguish between the two Vijays? Did she take like eyeliner mean? and draw a line. Well, I'm sure they are. They are it's they side. Strip of skin. Are they side by side, or, or I is, don't know. is it like one of those strollers that has the one in front of the other? Oh yeah, are they or, stacked like pancakes? I don't know. Yeah, they didn't show any pictures. Hmm. Okay. I think our only uh, they've got to be side by side. Way to solve this is going our OnlyFans side by side. side. <laughs> oh yeah, you're on OnlyFans. Can you look her up? Um, boy, I haven't logged in. I, well. It was I'm, I'm sorry, we're on the air. Uh, I was just on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have What's you ever heard name? of this before? I have not heard of this before. Her name is Annie, A-N-N-I-E, Charlotte. Because there's a similar thing with men. Where they have two penites? There was the famous uh, famous uh, pornographic actor Dick Siamese. Mm -hmm. I thought that was We found out that debunked. wasn't real. Yeah, that was a really? prosthetic. Yeah, he had yeah. a prosthetic. Yeah, but it, there really was Dick Siamese, and it was right. one, of, one of them was... Uh, not functional. Uh, apparently, a uh, apparently in a, a, a rubberized edition, not right. part of his anatomy. That's but this, this, this is about. an anatomical anomaly. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Okay. Born with I two can, cervixes. I can explain it all to you because I read it in depth because I was fascinated. But I think it'd be pretty boring. It's okay. That's okay. Well, mm -hmm. um, now. Uh, uh, oh, Pat. Almost heaven. Two vaginas. <laughs> Two boyfriends better use a panty liner. Frankie comes on Friday. Use the left one, please. The right one's for Johnny, free of disease. Like a country road, double lane. Every month, twice the pain. Two vaginas, one busy mama. Pick up more tampons. If you please. Woo! Wow. If you please. Uh, I am really glad when I thought, I hope he's not going to use country road. <laughs> <laughs> she says after years of crazy periods and tampons not working, doctors eventually found out I had two vaginas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, she and now she's on know. birth control, so she at least they regulate the periods Does of the same Does she have time. Uh, two OnlyFans accounts, one for each vagina? <laughs> no. no, it looks like, and she's made a million pounds, it says here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, she's so British. She's rich now because of her double uh, V. Yeah. Double V. Oh, double V. Yeah. Okay. She was, did you go, maybe I wasn't listening. Uh, the JJJJ. She's had twins in each of her two wombs? What? What? I, didn't I was speechless when doctors told me I was having twins in each of my two wombs. Whoa. Is her quote. The, 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 the article I read didn't have anything about having or already have babies. But it just wow. said that she had the potential. Maybe this potential. is another woman. Oh, it's and, another woman. And by oh. the way, this this lady, this Ann, Annie Charlotte. Yes. Uh, you wouldn't know she has two vaginas looking at her, if you know what I mean. Right. She doesn't. She doesn't present to. Oh, I see. Yeah. She uh, keeps them hidden, is what you're saying. You have to go. You have oh. to enter to s uh. understand that there are two canals. There's a uh, the, yes. Oh, okay. She says I instructed uh, the, the gentleman I was dating on how to feel for the wall that separates them. Which ah, is, so the outside looks normal. Yes, it's which on is the half inside. an inch inside. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Half an inch, boy. So it's like an off ramp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go left or right. You got to pick one. Once he can feel it, he, once he could feel it, he was still a little confused, but also slightly fascinated. Well, yeah. How about that? Now, uh, would would her periods sync up? Yeah, it, she takes birth control, so they do sync up. She's not just making money on uh, OnlyFans. Also, on Instagram, she made seventy thousand pounds last year. Wow. Or, or, no, I'm sorry, seventy thousand pounds a month. Christy, we need to get you another vagina. <laughs> Can you just Isn't go it worth it to seventy thousand a month? No. Is there a way to prove this? Couldn't this be fake? The doctors proved it. Do yeah, well, doctors. Doctors proved told. It. That's how she found out about it. She I mean, just thought she had crazy. She went in period. to get a. Does, but does a she coil. have a, a notarized statement from a qualified physician saying this is what's going on? Yes, she I'm just sure. be making this up. How dare you be skeptical of this oh, boy, miracle? What, what kind of, <laughs> this what kind could, of a person do you think would lie about this? Someone kind of, who'd go the, on OnlyFans kind of and make a million could, pounds? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hmm. I don't think wow. she's lying. Okay. Why would you lie Abby, about obviously this? Obviously, it happened before because Chick found a story. Who would, who would, why would anyone find yeah, this? Yeah, there's way more than one person yeah. with this. Why would anyone find this erotic? 
I why not? Uh, would uh, okay. Uh, question. You know how I like to ask questions. You like this better, or do you like four boobs better? Oh. Tom, your thoughts. I know, let's, let's, let's go with a double the JJ. <laughs> clearly the answer. <laughs> the f f four boobs. That would wig you out. Much, you'd have to wear sweatshirts all the time. Right? <laughs> much more visible freak as opposed to. Visible freak. <laughs> this is, oh, okay. well. She can't help it. She was born this way. How are the four boobs arranged? Like a four on a dice? Nope. All on top of each other. <laughs> like <laughs> stoplight style? Ver right. Vertically? <laughs> stoplight right down track. the middle. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that now, poor guy. Yeah, that's weird. Like two and two. Okay. <laughs> How do you work Why that? Why wouldn't you go all the uh, way across? Yeah, but the, the, guys that, the guys that like it stacked, uh, they, 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 they think the guys that are, are perverts that want them horizontal. No, horizontal. Yeah. yeah. What, what, uh, what kind of weirdo? Boy, that vert that's, uh, like playing with them would be like unbuttoning a coat. Is <laughs> that... <laughs> Is that the fifth element, Bruce Willis? The yeah. woman has like three boobs. Or total Recall. No, Total, total recall. recall. That's it. That's it. That's so, such a great scene. Total Recall. Three boobs. <laughs> okay. Well, um, uh, Christy Lee, what else you got over there? A couple from Brazil touting an unusual form of exercise. They're pouting. Touting. Touting. I'm sorry. They might pout when they work out. All I right. don't know. Uh, it's called working out in the nude. Miss hmm. Bella. Mantovani told Jam Press that she and her husband, Mr. Wagner O'Fara, <laughs> pay their gym Are to they... allow them to work out naked. So one's named Mantovani and the other's named Wagner? Yes. Is that what you expect us to believe? That's what it says in the story, according to the <laughs> well, New York no, Post. No Rachmaninoff there? <laughs> their kid? <laughs> wow. The polyamorous couple in their 30s claim that exercising naked burns more calories. False. With Ms. Mantovani. <laughs> They're wrong. Tom says no. With, with, with Miss that, that would have absolutely no bearing on anything. I except don't possibly know. the smell of the bicycle set. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Montavani says she and Mr. Fair says. Says have lost 56 pounds between them since starting their unorthodox workout no, it's routine. Just be it's because you're working out, folks. And yeah. it's incentive. You're naked. Tom. Hey, here look. you go. Do you hear how much how weight they lost? They must have been really fat when they started. Bad, 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 bad. The yeah, pair nice. also... <laughs> Share a page on OnlyFans oh, and assured that they reserve gym space for themselves during their naked workouts. Can so I spot else for you? Around. I can spot your erection. <laughs> <laughs> the clean and jerk. I spot. By, the clean and jerk, by the way. Oh. <laughs> and the snatch. Yeah, oh boy. They're all right there. And that's before they've even started working out. <laughs> oh, that's a, a complete falsehood. That you're going to lose more weight if you're naked. How do you know that? Be, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why would you? I don't know. Makes Unless sense. your clothes are 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then you'd lose more weight if you yeah. were wearing yeah. a lot of clothing. You'd that's what I'm saying. More weight, yeah. yeah. That, that's the only way it would make a, any difference. <laughs> this is just one more OnlyFans publicity stunt. Well, Write a song about that, Pat? You got your first line there. It's got stunt in it. Well, let me see. <laughs> okay. Dangerous. I'm very skeptical. <laughs> uh, We've all heard of the placebo effect. What about the nocebo effect? Well, before you get to that, I've got to read this note here. Oh. We were talking about a chick. Chick made this point. We, we had the story where the guy got shot turkey hunting. Another hunter shot him mm -hmm. by, by accident. And Chick pointed out that uh, there's probably someone listening who went hunting with a buddy and the buddy never came back yeah. because... The buddy was having an affair with his yeah, wife. Right, yeah. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Listeners want to know if uh, Chick and I went hunting, who'd come back alive? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm oh, in. I, uh, I'm in. I'd love to... Uh, let's, let's try this theory. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe <laughs> we both would come back alive. You don't know. Really? Yeah. Really? Maybe have, we... you ever, have either of you ever shot a gun? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know we I, I well, shot time. Uzis that one morning. Yeah. yeah. But I can see you two going out into the woods, pointing your gun, getting into an argument, pointing yep. your guns at each other, yep. staring at each other, waiting for the other to see if they flinch first, and then you drop the guns, run into each other's <laughs> arms, and make out. <laughs> Wow, that's not gonna happen. Bad luck. What's the? What is it? Is it a cartoon where they, where the guys are having the duel and they, they stand back to back, <laughs> and they're supposed to take ten steps, and the one just stands there and turns around as his other guy gets to Danny shoots him. <laughs> Love those duel scenes. And where did they just make dueling legal? Wasn't that? Uh, yeah, they did. Some state where it's Maine or something. So like that. bizarre. Uh, Virginia. Legal is it legal. Virginia. I don't know. Oh. Great, the great. We're talking about great movies. The greatest duel scene is the movie. Um, Here we go. Barry Lyndon. That is a good duel scene. 
That is uh, spectacular. Now, uh, now uh, uh, coming up, Christy Lee, you got the, uh, what is it again? The nocebo effect. All right. Um, what else do we have? Oh, speaking of duels and fighting, we may have something better than venting in an argument. We'll talk about that. Shutting up. Sh shooting. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, right now, I want to remind you of a couple quick things. We're going to be doing a special live comedy show at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center uh, on the evening of April 5th. It's a Friday night in Charleston, West Virginia. Hope to see you there. It will feature, among others, Willie G, Patty G, Josh will be there, Jeff Oska, your host will be uh, yours truly, and Christy Lee. So tickets are on sale right now, Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Hope to see you there Friday evening, April 5th. A special morning show featuring Duke Tomato and the Brass to Mouth Horns will be taking place at that same venue that morning. Morning show, free to come on in and say hi. Should be fun, and we're going to have a, a little uh, free thing there uh, that morning. I can't tell you what it is right now, but it's a top secret. Uh, also, while I'm at it, uh, I want to remind you, the Electric Amish in concert, Logansport, Indiana State Theater, coming up Saturday. We're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules, or just scroll down. LA. Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. Through a bunch of weird experiences, I become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh yeah sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off, so he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And while we're out, he sees a young lady. He says, "I think I know her. I think she's an actress. I think me and my wife hung out with her." I said, "Hey, man, we're in Kansas City." There's no way that chick's an actress. <laughs> she probably works at Cheesecake Factory or something. And he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table's Mumford and Sons. <laughs> oh. They're here playing the arena tomorrow night, and they're here having dinner. Oh, so maybe it was Carrie Mulligan. Might have been. Yeah. I don't know who it was. But he sends them a bottle on us, he says, which meant on him. him, yeah. Because I'm not. <laughs> Listen, if you're, if you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and we're hanging out, <laughs> You're buying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, dude. You fly private. You're That's buying drinks. Yeah. That is a good rule. I think it's fair. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, he buys drinks. It doesn't even show up on his register. I buy drinks. I can't buy shoes next month. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it's just Ann's sons. Oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> and sons come over, start talking to the Detroit Tigers. I'm not really involved, so I kind of tune it all out. When I come back into focus, and sons are kind of talking smack <laughs> to the Detroit Tigers about beer pong. They're like, hey, we'll whoop your butt in some beer pong. And the Detroit Tigers are like, we get paid very handsomely to put balls places. Right. <laughs> Uh, bring it. <laughs> so I said, hey, fellas, my parents live about eight minutes from here. Oh, boy. We could settle this. And I said that because I know both Ann's sons and the Detroit Tigers have an entire floor to do whatever they want. <laughs> so there's no reason to come to parents' house. It was complete fake hospitality. Right. Until they all turned around and looked at me and said, hell yeah, <laughs> let's go to your parents' house and play beer pong. And I went, God. Oh. Crap. Because <laughs> it is now 2 o'clock on a Sunday night. Oh. Technically Monday morning. <laughs> yes. My parents are not gypsies. <laughs> right? They have real jobs that start in like five hours. Yes. But I also can't look at all these dudes and be like, you guys, <laughs> my parents. <laughs> so I just said, whatever. We're going to roll the dice, see what happens. Sure. So we get there. First off, as we're leaving, my sister texts me. She says, hey. I'm out and about. If you get home before I do, will you walk my dog? <laughs> I said, hey, unless you're out and about with the Dave Matthews band, you better get your butt home because it's about to go down at Ma and Pa's house. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back to my parents' house, start throwing beer pong, and stuff got weird. <laughs> like weirder than I've already described. Like my sister, who is 30, yes. ended up in her prom dress. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Oh, no. God bless her for still being able to fit in it, mm -hmm. but also the hell, right? So uh, we, at one point in the evening, I go outside to partake in some uh, illegal activities, and 
Uh, I'm assuming the pot, not the pot. Yeah, not, yes. not murder. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, well, murder. we were going to see where it went. <laughs> sure. And uh, so Ann's sons come with me. But uh, as it was the middle of the baseball season, the Detroit Tigers could not partake. Right. Sure. Uh, so they had to pretend like it was the playoffs and watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, read an almanac. So we came back in from smoking, and my dad's downstairs, and he's upset. He's like, what's going on down here? And I said, well, this is uh, half the Detroit Tigers bullpen. And this is Ann Sons from Mumford and Sons. <laughs> and we're playing beer pong. And it was in that moment that I realized my father was no longer sure if he was actually awake. Because uh, <laughs> you got to look at it from his point of view. He walks downstairs. It's the middle of the night. He sees a bunch of weird dudes that he kind of recognizes. And my sister's in her prom dress. <laughs> like, things are weird. Yeah. And he's just confused. He's just like, uh... Uh, is that Justin Verlander? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, it is. He goes, I don't know what's happening right now. And he walked upstairs. That was the last we saw of him. Wow. He didn't say, is Kate here? No, no, he was just like, what? And the whole next day, I'm freaking out because my parents do a lot for me. I don't even be making them upset over some stupid... Sure. Right. So uh, when Dad gets home, I'm completely ready to take him out to dinner, buy him some drinks. And he walks in like he's had the greatest day of his life. And I say, what happened to you? And he's like, well, I woke up this morning and I hated you. <laughs> I cursed your name all the way to work. <laughs> but then I got to work and everyone started asking me why I look so tired and exhausted. So I started complaining about my son bringing home the Detroit Tigers <laughs> and Mumford and Sons and playing beer pong all night. And now I'm the coolest dude in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. That's a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons has joined us in the studio. You're a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. How's that going? New York's good. Not bad. It's, uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, like I, I, grew, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, Strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, my most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More ah, or yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Pat Godwin. Hello. Josh Arnold, Christy Lee, yeah. Ace Cosby. I'm here. And here's Tom just now reliving his dream of doing the show by himself. <laughs> Actually taking a vote from the room and voting himself. Mm -hmm. And saying... Just so we did. We have a quorum. No, no. No, we don't. It's you. You're a czar. <laughs> yes. A with a, with a C or a TS? Uh, how CZ? do you prefer? Or a capital D. <laughs> <laughs> a Dazar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying, I think it's a nice day. Why don't we have a bonus Ace Cosby joke of the day? I said all those in favor say aye. Aye. And as you can see, the eyes have it. That was one eye out of all of us. And we could see you and hear you yes. say aye. <laughs> But you Didn't think you say I sold. They were thinking it. Ah, okay, very good. Well, if that's the case, I think now is the first time. Uh, Bruce, that's from the deep voice. Uh, Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ace. What do you call an, uh, an alligator with a compass? An alligator with a compass? What do you call compass? an alligator with a... With a, <laughs> a compass. Thanks. I don't know what. A navigator. That was a <laughs> joke of the day. 
Your thoughts? Uh, well, I the, over there, genius. I think the sneeze yeah. took something away oh, from really? me. Oh, really? It's about yeah. timing. Uh, the sneeze was the only thing I liked. I enjoyed the sneeze. <laughs> I love the sneeze. Uh, Come on, do it again. Little mini orgasm. What was the what was the slang term we got? <laughs> That's a woman's sneeze. Oh, that was what was the slang term I we got? I sneezed like an old lady, Tom. What do you think? From Al, the sniz. What oh. was that? Remember that? Oh, that was from something, yes. Snows? But it was about, it, it means, uh, you know, getting that sweet, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Snows. Yeah, the old sniz. How do you remember it that far and don't remember that part? <clears throat> I don't, I just, I remember I, when you sneezed, though, we had, didn't we have a slang term, <laughs> sniz, for yeah. something? Uh, well, we you mean Al in the half hour. Yeah. Like, yeah. Go out and find some sniz. Like this? Sniz. Um, a sniz? Just the sniz. <laughs> sniz on the rag. Oh, yeah, I have an itchy sniz. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you must have really liked the word. Wow. You used it enough. I, but, I mean, is that correct? Is it, I have no is, idea. You, yeah. is some, sniz... of those, uh, some of those examples you just gave they, in that recording were not necessarily correct. You, oh. wouldn't, okay. you wouldn't say, I have an itchy sniz. Oh, cause, so sniz is not an anatomical location? It, 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 but yeah, it's more, it is, but it's not, you, don't, you just don't say it like that. It's more like, hey, we're going to go out and get some tail, or get, let's go chase some tail, you would say, let's go find some sniz. Sniz? Ah. Yes. Okay. So and what, then um, if you were to take, uh, uh, would there a person be a sniz shield if they were, like, repulsive? And <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, things were going great, and then you know, the uh, cooler walked up. He's like a sniz shield. That's uh, uh, Josh, this is for you. <laughs> Uh, yes. Dear Bob and Tom Show, I please let Josh know there is a Bigfoot cruise <laughs> uh, that is uh, going out. So I Googled it, and it's the uh, second annual Alaska Bigfoot cruise departing Whoa. September 13th of this year. Really? Are they going to look for Bigfoot in Alaska? It says or a... they just celebrate Probably just it. enthusiasts. Ah. Yeah. Now, uh, this Does is... Does he live in Alaska? Hmm. A Squatchologist's Dream Vacation, it says. Oh, okay. Squatch, Squatchologist, squatch. sorry. A squatch Sasquatch? Like yeah, a apparently. Sasquatch. But yeah, that's a new word. Squ uh, squatchologist. So would you like to do that? Be with your fellow cryptozoologists? Yeah, I think it would be nice. Good people having uh, some fun times. I don't know really? about, I don't know how many uh, sightings, <laughs> Bigfoot sightings there have been in... Uh, Alaska. Well, Seward's Folly. But you know, this is coming up uh, less than like two or three weeks away. What? The brand new movie, Sasquatch Sunset. <laughs> and it's a family of Sasquatch out in the uh, woods. And that's the, uh, those are the stars of the movie. All right. I'll have to see how that is. It uh, won't be any, it won't be Harry and the Hendersons, I'll tell no. you that. Oh, that well, was no, I, I don't think if it's, I don't think it's going to be. I think it's just going to be a family of, from Ari Aster. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, from, uh, produced it. Yeah. Well, this this uh, Sasquatch cruise, it's uh, stopping in Sitka, Skagway, Juneau, Alaska, and there are lectures every morning. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the oh, man, views I... will be magnificent, and I guess you can go hunts for I'd Bigfoot. love it. Why yeah. I've, I mean, you guys have actually heard me off the air talk about how if I took a cruise, it would be in Alaska. Yes, cruise. we have said that, heard that. Oh, well, well, good, well, good to know. Well, let's get back to Christy Lee at the news desk. Um, do you know what nocebo is? Uh... Sounds like a drug. I know what noceums are. Aren't those little things that yeah. bite your arms and stuff? Oh, I hate those. Nocebo sounds like a, a thing you'd see advertised on the news at night. Yeah. Uh, Another like one a new of those. Drug. No, actually, the nocebo effect, sometimes called the placebo's evil twin, relates to a person feeling worse because they have negative expectations concerning their health. For example, one study involving the coronavirus vaccine saw some participants who were injected with saline report side effects like nausea and headache. The researcher Charlotte Blees, who wrote the book on the subject, said, quote, I think it's the idea that words really matter. They can make you sick. Oh, that, there's no doubt about that. Oh, yeah, a I huge agree. But this, it's still just a placebo effect. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying this whole new term. Yeah. yeah, nocebo sounds like a band that opens for fish. Well, and if they were given <laughs> a saline solution, then... That's a placebo. That's a placebo. Yeah. Unless they told them going in that it was a saline solution. That's a... No. Oh, right. Yeah. I see what you're saying. You see what I mean? Yes, you're right. If, if they told them going in it was saline, then... Well, they wouldn't tell them going in. They just... They're, they're just but gonna, is that what a nocebo... They're going to say they, they're, they think it's a vaccine and they're going to start... They, they've, heard, they've been sitting around the office seeing the videos... 
and they so they're now having the, what they think they're supposed to have, the side effects. Yeah, well, right, but I, I don't think placebo, in, in, in this story, it makes it sound like placebos, a, a placebo effect is a positive thing, whereas a nocebo is a negative thing. Yeah, kind of. I always understood placebo as negative or positive, but mm -hmm. I... Uh. Uh, it, Maybe oh well. this woman just made up the term so she could sell the book. Haven't we all kind of had this? Oh, oh no, course. he's sick. Now I'm going to get sick, and then yes. you start feeling the symptoms. Yes, Pat, you I do. Weigh in? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it. <laughs> and by, and yeah, Pat found out good vibes won't cure syphilis, right, Pat? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Throwing me under the syphilis bus. <laughs> I have to like meditate if I if I'm sitting next to somebody who's coughing and coughing. I have to walk. Up, I have to do some. I have to like really talk myself into not getting sick. So really? like when chick sneezes yes. and doesn't cover it up, like a fap it a few minutes it ago. It takes yeah. me, I have like for 20 seconds, I have to go, I'm not going to get anything from that. Yeah. Hmm. It's, I, well, I, I'll I know. keep trying. I'm kind of a weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, what, what puzzles me now is all the drug commercials, you can never tell what the people have. Because it's always, they're always, you know, canoeing and well, parasailing yeah, yeah, and yeah, walking yeah. down the street with their kids. For whatever the, whatever the commercial's for is what they have. They're not going to suffer from... N nearsighted if it's about a <laughs> no, I'm just saying, eczema yeah. drug. I mean, you, you, you never see the you know horrific person well, that's writhing, it, writhing in bed with shingles. They're out there playing frisbee. That's a, <laughs> it's a commercial. You nut. Just if you saying. pay attention, 50, I'm going to say 50% at least of those medication commercials are medications to treat side effects of other medications. It's crazy. Hmm. Well, I just... Uh, I'm, just glad, I'm just glad that all the stuff works. That's all I can say. Well, um, now, uh, <laughs> you and I can talk about that ad nauseum. Well, you'd take no, something it for would that. just seem like meaning, it. Meaning people would want to throw up hearing us discuss it. No, and you'd have to take something for the nausea. <laughs> uh, I think that's the, that's the key to this thing. Uh, coming up, we have um, a couple of really unusual robberies. Yeah. One of them involving some little kids. Uh, robbing a bank, stacked on each other's shoulders with a big overcoat, and then I um, hope so. And then the other <laughs> one um, involving something that seemed very unlikely that you'd be stealing it, especially at knife point. Uh, and then we've got artificial intelligence in the news in a spectacularly scary way, if you ask me, coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out. I would imagine you probably had a lot of guy groupies, but not like in a uh, traditional group. You know what I mean? In other words, d dudes coming up to you. <laughs> Rod McEwen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys who Rod went to party with Rod, them? Rod, yeah. Rod, there's a yeah. reason why they call him Rod. Uh, uh, yeah. Rod waited for us in Hawaii. We were on our way to, to uh, uh, Australia, and Rod heard we were coming to, uh, you know, stopping in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He waited. Uh, at the airport? Missed, no, he missed it. Yeah, at the airport. He missed his flight to meet us because be he thought he thought we were one of them. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Ah. Because of I the meant, bits it, we did. You yeah. know? What I meant was, as Christy, in other words, you guys so were clean like, it up now, I, yeah. I want to I I, I party, yeah, party with these guys. I mean, I imagine that would that'd kind of be a buzz. <laughs> yeah, it would yeah. kind of be a burden, though, after a while. Uh, no, it was, we just like, oh, no, I don't think so, man. We got a lot of bits from these parties, you know. We went to one party very early in our career. I think it was in Rochester. Yeah. And this one guy brought his, his he was a blues collector, and he brought this, his famous uh, never heard before uh, Lightning Hopkins <laughs> disc. Mm -hmm. And he had it on the, on the turntable. Oh, no. And very carefully put the needle oh, on no. there. And he sat down with his, his <laughs> eyes closed, and some party guy ripped it out. Uh, <laughs> and threw it off, put on another there. record on. Uh, that was cool. That one. Remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> that's where we got uh, Earring My Eye from. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, that's my record, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a over. Wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Space. 
<laughs> Speech. Speech, Marie. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time it's at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. <laughs> the apple pie that we had, it was so thick and beautiful. I just ate it like a piece of pizza. Wait a minute. So you ate a pie by cutting it into triangular pieces <laughs> and eating it one by one? Like a, what a weirdo! Like a pizza? No, like without a fork is what I meant. You pick it up and you eat it like a piece of pizza. You dick. <laughs> Comedian Eric David Dugan. Right Comedian David, mm -hmm. David Dugan. Dave Dugan joins us David in the studio. Dugan. David Dugan. <laughs> My formal name. You sound like a <laughs> grand wizard. <laughs> David Dugan. Grand wizard. Stop. <laughs> you have a couple young children. A couple young kids. Raising kids at that age is sort of like being hazed into a fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like a two-minute time period the other day when I uh, changed a dirty diaper, uh, picked up, grounded out, grounded up uh, fruit chews out of the carpet. Uh, while chocolate milk was being spilled down my back. Thought, Geez, if I get the pants myself, I'd be a Fidel right now. <laughs> all day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Jay. Hey, there's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's... 
Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much for that stellar introduction. Uh, now, a uh, couple quick things. Um, I wanted to mention we're going to be live in person doing this show in Cincinnati. Opening day, Major League Baseball for uh, the uh, Reds, the home opener. Uh, we'll be at Nation Kitchen and Bar at the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks, just steps from the front gate of Great American Ballpark. Hope to see you there. Admission is free. We're going to have a good time. We always do. Nationals, right? I think. Yeah, uh, and uh, that's, did I mention that's coming up uh, Thursday, Next the 28th? Thursday. Week from today. Week from today. Week She's from right. today. Today's Thursday? Yes, the 21st. Week okay, from sorry about today. that. I thought today was one. Uh, uh, well, uh, very good. That's much easier to say. Um, how about this one? April 5th. That's a Friday. You know how I know that, John? How do you, how know, do you know that? that? Written down. Oh, yeah. Um, Friday, April 5th, we're going to be doing the show from Charleston's Coliseum and Convention Center in the morning. That's going to be a blast. Charleston, West Virginia. What did I say? You just said Charleston. Okay. But we, you know, some people are getting confused. There we go. Uh, th thank you for the correction. Christine. I'm sorry. The, the clarification. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of uh, Rock 105 in Charleston, West Virginia. Special morning show featuring Duke Tomato, the Power Trio, the Brass to Mouth Horns. Pat Godwin will be there. Oh, yeah. And then Pat's headlining our big show oh, that yeah. night, a big comedy show. Josh, Pat, Willie G., and uh, and Mr. Oske and Christian and I will be your host and hostess. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great time, so get tickets right out to see that evening show for some great live stand-up comedy in West Virginia. Looking forward to it. Now, Christy Lee is uh, Tom Griswold holding her post at yep. the uh, at the Bob and Tom news desk. The story I knew you would jump all over because it has one of your favorite terms in it, little rascals. You were a big fan of the show when you were a kid. Love the little rascals. Well, three boys aged 11, 12, and 16 have been arrested for robbing a bank in Houston, Texas. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said the boys have been dubbed the little rascals by the FBI. They passed a threatening note to a Wells Fargo bank teller. Signed before. by their parents, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny mommy, has my ma, permission ma, mommy, to rob your bank. <laughs> mommy, I'm going to knock off the bank. Did you, <laughs> did you ever have to do that, go and buy cigarettes for your my parents, mom or your dad? My parents didn't smoke, oh, of course. Yes, no. yes, Jay, I couldn't believe And you had a note, and you said yeah, it's okay for him to buy cigarettes. Oh, oh we yeah. didn't have to have a note because the clerk knew... No kidding. Us, yeah. Oh, all right. But unbelievable they did that. Yeah. There's no yeah. way that happens and, and now. Uh, your dad smoked Marlboro Reds, right? Yeah, in the soft pack, yeah. Uh, did did you ever partake? You, you don't smoke at all, do you? No, I don't. It never it never took for me. I, I, I did how, I about your, how about your brothers? Yes. Uh, at some point or another, they all smoked. Yeah. And, wow. uh, and now they just have smoking hot wives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 do you want to get a you're welcome? What do you mean? I, I just, your brothers are so happy now. I have implied, having seen photographs of their wives, they've all married way above their station. <laughs> they sure and, and yeah. I all, agree. No, they've, yeah. all, they've all got these smoking hot wives. And I, when, last time I talked you to know, your brother, he goes, what, what the hell's wrong with you? I've heard of fishing for compliments, but you've got it all backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Yeah, wonderful women. You, you always speak very highly of them. I, oh, I love them. Yeah, they're my sisters. So this puts a lot of pressure on you. Oh, you know what? I don't think so. Let's change the subject. I'm, I'm not sorry. too worried about it. The three oh, yeah. boys passed yes. a threatening note to a Wells Fargo <laughs> bank teller. Do we know what the note said? Before fleeing on foot with an undisclosed amount of cash. All right. I don't know what so, the note said. Again, these boys are how old? 11, 12, and 16. The 16-year-old kind of ruins it for me. He's kind of the mastermind, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, I want to... So, no, no, I've seen 16-year-olds yeah. who look 27. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 And you pointed out, how did they do this exactly? They, they got up on each other's shoulders with a big <laughs> overcoat. <laughs> yeah, they had, they, you would have to. That'd be the only way to do it. I am here to... <laughs> I would like to rob the bank, Conduct please. business. Can I have... By the way, can I have one of the free suckers? <laughs> <laughs> According to the station, the parents of the two of the boys identified them after their photos were released least, while a third boy was recognized by a law enforcement officer following a fight. Hmm. But, but this is why you want your kids to play Grand Theft Auto. They're now facing charges of robbery <laughs> by theft. Because if they, if they play Grand Theft Auto, they get it out of their system. These poor kids, you're not going to play those video games. They're poison. And, okay, let's just do it for real. Oh, I'm bored. What do you want to do? Rob maybe, they were, maybe they were stealing money to buy video games. <laughs> Oh. That's so sad. These kids stealing money to buy video, video games. What are they thinking? Right now coming to Nickelodeon, Prison Break Jr. <laughs> Watch an 11-year-old get out of stir. He's going to get slimed, but not, yeah. not in the way. Not in the way. Uh, oh. well, that's that's hey, unfortunate. Hey, hey. You can't do that. All right. Yeah. It's not green. It's salty, really. All right. No. Okay. Oh. 
So are they, I mean, are they going to be? Are they going to go to jail? Probably not. Something though, some kind of. They didn't have a gun, right? That that would have been. There is no gun in my story, okay. so I would assume not. Okay. Mm. Well, they had a note. Remember. Mm. I'd like to know what the note said. Wait, we want all your money? Were some of the letters backwards in that cute little rascal's way? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my mom says I'm allowed to rob your bank. <laughs> I'm with Tom. I like the little rascals. Chick, are you a fan? I'm not. Okay. Never have been. Oh, my God. Spanky makes, mm -hmm. I mean, just made me well, howl. A little inside radio story. Um, we've had many visitors in these in this studio in this building. Yes, the likes some of very famous people, or the other studio, like Mike Tyson, or uh, the one before that. Thank you for watering it down. <laughs> the larger point here is when we had uh, the actor who portrayed Spanky in here, everybody in the building lost their mind. They went, they were all hovering around the glass, and <laughs> we've had all no these, kidding. We've had major rock stars in here. Nobody cared. <laughs> Spanky was here. They went nuts. Probably yeah. couldn't believe you stole. <laughs> yeah. well, that's, that's, that's absolutely correct. And fortunately, at the time, he was. He was very nice. But was, now, now Alfalfa, Alfalfa, we never met because he got into life. He got. I think he was stabbed to death okay. in, over a dog fight. Disagreement over a dog. Yeah. Oh. Really. <laughs> That is sad. Yeah. That's, that's, I think they're all gone now. Are any of them didn't? They have to. They be. have to be, Tom. They're... They'd be a thousand. And actually, we have buckwheat <laughs> news this morning. Oh, no. What? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's skip it. <laughs> yeah, no joke. That's why it's in the news. That's still funny, right? Eddie Murphy doing that? Sure. Yes. Yeah. And there is a there is a customs facility, United oh. States Customs Facility, called OTA. That's right. O T A Y. Named after uh, uh, buckwheat. It's Maybe not perhaps. named after buckwheat. What? No, it isn't. But uh, of we'll get not. to that later. A pair of knife wielding thieves stole two hundred and twenty dollars worth of paper towels. I'm gonna cut you from a Manhattan CVS. WABC reports the two suspects stole. Ten we're first. Alphabetically, we're first. <laughs> ten packages of paper towels from a store on the Upper East Side before fleeing the scene. At knife point. Yes, they ran into a subway station where police caught one of the suspected thieves. 42-year-old Miguel Romero faces charges of criminal possession of stolen property. They're still searching for the second suspect. Paper towels? Yeah. That's all they took? $220 worth of paper towels. I, mean, I can understand that if it was toilet paper maybe uh, during t COVID, but... Give me all your brownie. What? Yeah, what? How oh, weird. There's a, oh, I, there's a bounty on their head. Oh, oh good. That's ah! good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, don't need those paper towels in prison. <laughs> that is not as uh, disgusting as some of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they need the paper towels to clean up after they stab a guy, and there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Right, because bounty's the quicker picker. Like you meet your mm -hmm. new cellmate, they call him the quicker picker upper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what kind of, why would you steal something that's really bulky? Yes, easy, I don't know. easy to identify from a distance. Not that expensive. If you're right. in a CVS at knife point, you know, hey, maybe I don't know. Go for the drugs. I. You don't need a knife. You can just take it and walk right out now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the the thievery now. I know in San Francisco they want they don't prosecute shoplifters. In fact, at most places in San Francisco, if you steal stuff, they gift wrap it for you on your way out. <laughs> they are so cooperative. Well, I'm pretty I sure there won't be any stores for them to steal anything from in San Francisco. Didn't so. I hear a report? They're cutting down on self check. I guess something yes. like that, or yeah. hours to use it, or something. Oh, like really? That. The story was involved. Um, was it Dollar Tree, one of the big dollar type stores? Yeah. They're cutting way back on self checkout because of primarily because of theft. Yeah. Duh, you think? <laughs> Nothing for me. I love self checkout. I do too. I've never stolen I do anything too. from well, self checkout. Of course not. What are you taking? I haven't taken anything. I do. I take, if it ain't nailed down, I'll take it. <laughs> what, what is it? And those have uh, videos replays. Because the cashier can come up and go, oh, that was scan. That was yeah. Scan. No, no. Yeah, you know, I, th I think they're great. I th it, it, it's so much quicker and so much quicker. I'm surprised. You, well, you probably like it, chicks. You don't have to talk to anybody because I know you hate talking to people. No, no, I hate talking to you. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it was everybody. No, no, no. You just, just see. So I, I feel special. Yeah. No. Well, that's chick one works way magic to look at, at a grocery store. He, a chick will woo. A, a, an attractive... Oh, that's right. Charming. I go after him. They, I, I'm, I'm charming they AF. Can't, oh, dude, they, they swoon. They can't... Uh, they can't... Uh, they can't, they can't believe how funny you he is. You got the chick magic? Sure, yes, the chick magic. <laughs> that's what it is.
I have seen a lady flirt with you at a grocery store. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're standing by the produce that's uh, phallically shaped. Did she say, hey, mister? Were you guys standing in the potato section? Were you by the potatoes? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You really want, want a woman over that one time with the potatoes, yeah. How'd yeah. that go? Well, I oh. thought it was you. I thought it was you more. Tell the story, Jeff. <laughs> <Josh. laughs> I learned it from the best, you oh, see. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. yeah. I was just kind of uh, looking at the uh, mixed salad bags. Uh -huh. And I, I happen to glance over, and uh, I see this beautiful woman standing, uh, looking at some potatoes. Yeah. And she the, big, the big Idaho bakers. Yeah. Oh, and I love Chick, those. Uh, Chick went up, and he goes, uh, you know, ma'am, uh, and he has a potato in each hand. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, uh, you should know that these remind me of my, my testicles. <laughs> she goes, oh, my, they're that big? And Chick goes, no, this dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and she giggled. Giggled and giggled and giggled. And then her husband came up and punched me in the face. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. That, that was that sad. Okay. Yeah, but you, you, uh, some places are phasing out the self-checkout. Other places are adding it. I think it's great. Yeah. I really I really enjoy it. Coming up. I really enjoy it. Well, I think, I uh, I think we, were, we were worried if you were enjoying it or not. Do you feel like you're playing playing supermarket or something? <laughs> <laughs> Kids love playing oh, supermarket. Oh, kids love that. <laughs> have, you ever seen, have you seen the toys they have to play supermarket with now? Yeah. yeah. They're like, might as well be real <laughs> electronic cash <laughs> registers. Right, right. I got one in my basement. <clears throat> of course, of course you, you do. do. Yeah, oh, one of those little, you probably little, have a full <laughs> service check. <laughs> it's got people down there. I used to love the old register toy where the big fat coins. Yeah. 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 Slots yes. and, yeah. I, got, I got a little mini uh, real, checkout counter in my real, basement for the girls. Real produce. Uh -huh. It's fun. <laughs> real produce. Yeah. <laughs> they, have, they have the fake uh, produce. <laughs> hey, how would you like to listen to uh, Raycon Everyday Earbuds? I know if you do, you love them. And if you don't, you should. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at around half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycons optimize gel tips designed to fit comfortably in your ears, and they will stay there, and they fit every ear ever made. Maybe you're on the phone. Maybe you're walking the dog. Maybe you're doing both. You'll have eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing, and you don't have to worry if Raycons are up for the tax. They are, and they also have earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and awareness modes. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Yeah, those uh, the earbuds are so great. I love my Raycon earbuds. Also, I love their uh, regular headphones. My little girls have them. They're great. Mm -hmm. If you're going on your spring break, I'm telling you, get some of those headphones for the girls from Raycon because they'll be in the back seat, calm, watching their little games, et cetera, et cetera. That'll <laughs> shut them up. I saw a guy yesterday, Josh. You can help me with this. He was uh, walking down... Um, uh, I was in uh, this little area of town where some <laughs> beautiful lot of shops, and this guy's in front of me walking like this. This is the ham. <laughs> this is the most ham-fisted presentation uh, Josh, I've ever I'll show heard. You. In my he's life. got one of these phones like this, and he's and he's got his, his neck crooked like this. Oh, and the phone's in between. And his he's face walking and the shoulder. with this, and I think, well, that's so. Why don't you hold it with your arm? That's so weird. Mm. And um, oh, he, he only had he one have arm. An arm. No, no. Then, then, he, then he gets off the phone, and it turns out he's his neck is stuck like this. Apparently, he's got some horrific spinal issue, but convenient for talking on the phone. Why in oh. God's name did you share that story? Yeah. I thought that was well, that'd be a great video. Well, you weren't in the meeting yesterday when Raycon said, "Hey, anytime you can mention spina bifida, <laughs> we'd appreciate." You get a hunch in there, so yeah, you get <laughs> scoliosis. Uh, customers want to know oh, that they. My. I love that. <laughs> he is Peter Scoliosis. Oh uh, uh, coming up, uh, and we have uh, uh, Al Jackson. He's going to uh, sort us out. Yeah, he uh, is. What's happening in the world right now? Uh, comedian Al Jackson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Morning laughter <laughs> <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try. Here at the Bob and Tom Radio Laboratories, we've discovered that if you listen to the Bob and Tom Radio Show in the morning, you're going to be all right. However, if you don't listen, there could be some serious side effects. Including general discomfort, memory loss, head spins, confusion, memory loss, itch. Bob and Tom Mornings on 104.7 WTUE. Confusion, confusion, itching, itching, bloating, bloating, ah! Uh, you know, is working with, uh, with us cool. sticks, and uh, he's going to be doing some solo stuff for mm -hmm. us. Cool. Mm -hmm. We have a performance room right next to this room. You can see through the glass. There he is. Oh, yeah. Can you can you hear? 
Greg, <laughs> Greg, is, Greg found all the drumsticks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need, need, need yep. a couple more. Can you hear us? I'm back. All right. Okay. Can you oh, hear me? Okay. All oh. right. Hold on. Okay. Are you going to... Is this... <laughs> Is there a, is this? I date tons of chicks. Why day one, but she weighs tons. Come on. <laughs> uh-huh. Take your top off. <laughs> hey, Christy, what's in the news? He likes those symbols. That's uh, very nice. Is that, a, is that song called Take Your Top Off? <laughs> yeah, that's my new tune. It's a big hit. Uh-huh. Right, I, I, okay, I like that very much. Let me test you guys. You guys know music, right? All right. Yeah, sure. All right, let me just, okay. What song is this? What song is this? Name that tune. Well, there's about 10,000 yeah, songs. Yeah, let's start that, that, that way. Be. Uh, uh, the B-52s, Love Shack. I thought you guys knew music. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Love Anybody Shack. Walk Love. like an Egyptian. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was very nice. You, uh, can I do a request? C- certainly. Uh, can you do Mississippi Queen? Well, where's, where's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You need cowbell. Here we go. Come on. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. You nailed it. Hey, wait, what about, what about a honky-tonk women from the Stones? How's that go? No, no, you got to get the cowbell. cowbell. You got to get. I thought you knew music. Uh huh. <laughs> Come on. I didn't know you were gonna spit it on me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what's not this? it. What's it's this? Dunk, dunk, That's dunk, Mississippi dunk. Queen again. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> How about this song right here? I don't That's know. That's a Pink Floyd tune right in the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. I give up. All what right, what all was right. that one? I know, it's just laying down some funk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it down. Greg Hahn is our guest. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. buffet. <laughs> why not try Pancake Hooters today? You'll see why our hardline policy with our waitress staff is, it's either 32A or the highway. <laughs> Pancake <laughs> Hooters! <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. Okay. So Moody, is your apartment <laughs> is it tidy? It is tidy. It's small, it's tidy. It's, uh, it's a basement. Oh, no. Even better. I thought <laughs> I looks had... like we made it. <laughs> and I thought I you knew can't... the ceilings are low. I thought I had seven oh, foot ceilings my ah, until hurt. my six foot six buddy came over and had about an inch of clearance. <laughs> Your ceilings are that low? They're low. You can't wow. even get happy. They're low. I think my apartment's illegal to tell you the truth. It's oh, a basement goodness. with only one exit. The and the exit door. is yeah. blocked by my never. meth lab. So I think the whole thing uh-huh. yeah, is illegal. Yeah, yeah, I really good. never stay there. Beautiful never neighborhood. Though. I live in a great neighborhood. Uh-huh. A little, it's in New York City, Astoria, Queens. It's very peaceful. My neighborhood is so quiet. If there's any yelling at night, that means Ecuador scored a goal. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> right. It's a little rowdy. World Cup's a little rowdy. Other uh, yeah, I'll bet. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's it's yeah. oh, you got to come over during World Cup time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tom Simmons is our guest. You were, I understand you've been to Afghanistan, I assume, on, on one of the uh, USO-type tours. The, uh, the comics on duty. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, good, yeah. good for you. Afghanistan is desolate, man. Everything is dirt. Every building, every structure is like dirt. 
We don't need satellite guided bombs. We just should drop water balloons. That muddy. Turn that place into mud and farmland, and it'll be great. Right. <laughs> have you run this strategic idea by the people at the Pentagon? Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd save well, us a lot of money. Amen. This is positively we're launching brilliant. a massive uh, hydro attack. Uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do? And, uh, All of these fire bombs are merely drawing it out. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is we're Mark helping. Sweeney. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Josh is here, and Hayes, and Christy, Pat, I'm Chick, and hey. Tom Griswold. We have uh, we have our special guest. Oh, look at that. It, uh, I'm it's, here. Uh, hey. Hey, got a question for you, Al. Um, yes. Al Jackson is um, uh, our friend. Yes. He is a fine stand-up <laughs> comedian. He is also one of the uh, principals on uh, uh, the uh, DBL, the Daily Blast Live. Mm-hmm. He's also, I'm also uh, dressed like Red from Shawshank. I didn't realize that until I saw my Oh, yeah. Face. <laughs> that gray yeah. button. I can get you anything you need, Tom. But <laughs> I think you and I are wearing the <laughs> same shirt. Uh, you're going you to need are. to give me a rock hammer. Say what to nail. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Al, I was uh, going over some of the uh, things I've learned from you because you're somewhat of an expert on street slang, if you will. <laughs> and uh, um, the word sniz uh, came up. And I was trying to remember what it was all about, uh, uh, sniz, and I, I believe uh, I've been informed that it, apparently it's it's a reference to the female anatomy. In a way, yeah. I really, Josh, please enlighten me. You know, uh, I'm an adjunct professor here, meaning that I can learn from you, the students. It's a very. I don't know what sniz means. It's it oh. sounds like something that birds leave when they. <laughs> Yeah, you're it, right. It's a yeah. crass term. It would be, uh, uh, Al, uh, why don't you and I, uh, you know, get dressed up and uh, hit the clubs and chase some sniz. <laughs> uh, so, so it, 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 as you said, it's, it's like chasing tail. If right, you right. It, it's not a great, it's it's somebody being kind of a dirtbag when they is say that, it. I, my yeah. question is, Is um, does this have something to do with Snoop and the shizzle and the lizzle and the you know, dizzle maybe, and the... Maybe, uh-huh. but I don't know. Would it be like shizzle? Oh, I think like, it's probably... Like a variation uh, of snatch? Uh, uh, I yes. think so, yes. yes. Yeah. That's uh, that would I bet that's as good a explanation as any I think. So okay, um, uh, I, let's find that sniz. I, I, yeah, see, I, I just I, I Josh, the older I get, I find myself obviously becoming more and more my father, and my dad, and, and every time I see Creepy acting about this, oh. uh, my dad would be like, "Oh, she's a fox." Mm, like yeah. I don't know, uh-huh. it's very like uh, nineteen late fifties. But it's just, I, you know, I know that there would be a blog. That's the meaning. But I just feel like the, referring to a woman as a fox is a very old school. That, like, that's the way a gentleman says that he thinks about it. My dad, obviously, he's been gone for some years now. He used to say, I don't care what you say, Sarah Palin is a fox. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would not that. be offended if somebody called me a fox. I think, no that's, way. I, think, I think that term, like the term cool, has yeah. stuck around. Yes. Oh, really? I don't hear fox that really? much, but I love it. I, it's lady. great. Yeah. Well, now, it's what, kind of great. Uh, My dad used to say looker. She's a looker. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Oh, she's a real looker. Really? <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, now, uh, Al, your father was a distinguished attorney. Uh, what he was. was. What was his favorite TV show? Oh, that's a good question. My dad used to watch They're the Guardians now, but my dad's ideal life. Uh, I told you I'm 99.9% sure my dad was on the spectrum, but, like, that term wasn't out yet. It just only Rain Man. Uh, but my dad would just, like, love to watch Cleveland and Needs Baseball. He would have one. He loved those big naval oranges, and he would eat uh, Ritz crackers and tuna fish, and he was a happy man. My dad never... And we've never we talked about it, but like I, I still don't think people understand. My dad only ate like six things. I swear to my dad ate steak, spaghetti, Stouffer's lasagna from the warehouse in Cleveland. Ohio. There's a warehouse in sure. the suburbs, uh-huh. and older black folks just like my dad was so into getting a deal. And <laughs> at the warehouse, you could go and get like basically the dented can version, <laughs> of just like a, a box of lasagna that somebody had drop kicked onto a delivery <laughs> truck. And so, like, uh, we're gonna mark it down thirty percent. My dad was like, "Don't mind if I do." Hey. So it would no. just be. And and that's all he ate, Tom. That's interesting. He never ate ice cream. He never ate candy bars. He never ate quiche. He never ate eggs. It was only six things. It, it's really that's fascinating. That's great, though. It's, it simplifies your life. 
It's like wearing the My same clothes the every same day. Guy. I have a cultural yeah, uh, TV go, question. This is a cultural TV question. And, Al, you may be too young to kind of, to totally answer this, but did black audiences respond well to Archie Bunker? Like, would, would, would your... I, I think they... I think they did. I, that that was a little bit before my time, but right. obviously I saw the rerun, so I don't know how they were responded to in real life. But Archie Bunker was such a fascinating character because he was who he was, and a lot of people saw him as uh, abhorrent, and a lot of people saw him as like, hey, we line up on a lot of things. But he, Archie Bunker took this, this type of person that existed uh, in a lot of different forms in this country, and he just showed the country who this person was and through his character you were able to decide like uh maybe that maybe that was a little boorish the way he's talking to his wife the way he's talking to his daughter because it wasn't just the racial yeah i, I don't think black people had a lot of issues with it because he was wrong on right, a lot right. Of issues you're, you're laughing at him mm -hmm. for the yes. most part yeah and what so about his like he, what about his neighbor george jefferson i always thought uh, george jeff I, I thought he was hilarious he was so that he made i think me he's howl. the one He's so underrated as a comedic actor. He was physical. Very. Uh, he was, and he was, uh, he also was a very, very flawed man. And remember, for as much as it's like, oh, this white man's going to get his comeuppance from this black man who's doing well uh, opening up these dry cleaners. Remember, George Jefferson then would go to his home and make misogynistic comments and his his maid would tear him apart with, for his misogynistic views. So. It, it was just like such a well-written show, and that's why the spinoffs were all there because everybody just loved the characters. Yeah. Now, now uh, without getting too personal, did your dad ever do any dating after? That's a great question. My dad did. He dated uh, a couple. He date. My dad dated three, <clears throat> three women after uh, he divorced from my mom. He dated uh, uh, two, two very sweet women that kind of worked in the. Um, in the court system, you know, it, uh, I can say this. I'm not trying to. Were they foxes? My dad, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Which was very weird. Hmm. And I think that they would tell you that. One was like startlingly. I was like, what is, I was a little kid and still a virgin. I was like, come <laughs> on, bro. Like, that's, yeah. Good Lord. But then um, his last girlfriend uh, was very attractive. <laughs> yes. And. Yeah, I, I realize my dad and I have very similar tastes, and like I think we both like tall women. Even my ex-wife is five nine, mm. but I like hey, what like uh, you know I I've dated several women that were taller than me, and I'm six feet. Like I dated this doctor, and she was six three. Mm. I like I like tall women. Mm -hmm. Nice. How man. are you guys with women that are taller than you? Yeah, I I, I don't I'm fine with it. I had a six no four issue. Woman. I'm uh, frightened by it and uh, terrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, uh, let, let's She'd get... hurt me at, uh, in a, min a minute's notice. Um, let's get to our uh, exercise here, uh, which is uh, language. What, do we have a word today that I've got to learn? We do, Tom. There's so many words I thought were cool. Uh, let's just go with, sometimes we say word when we mean phrase. But we actually mean a word here. So, Tom, wh when would you use the word eight? A-T-E. Eight? When would you use the Eight. Oh, d it's various ways. Yeah, maybe a guy would be uh, uh, in the Olympics and he's doing the 100-meter uh, dash and he falls. He he ate it. That would be uh, that. That would be that would be a one. correct use. Not in this. Not in this uh, way. Uh, your that, your that's... your late father was uh, at one point in his life uh, served uh, two Stouffer's lasagnas and he ate them. <laughs> that, that is true. I don't think that's he not correct. The literal. <laughs> yeah, two okay. literal uh, uh, definition yeah. of eight. Slang is the term. Um, <laughs> slang eight 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 eight. Uh, uh, any thoughts, anyone? Uh, uh, what about the phrase? Did, the phrase. There's a phrase eight up, like that is eight up. Like that's not right, or that's uh, mm, something like I that. Could, is I it could short see, for that. That's no, not in okay. this case. In this one, and I never heard it used like this. But uh, it, it's it's kind of cool. So it'd be like a. Uh, you know, uh, look, Christy Lee was really nervous about giving her presentation to the board, but as soon as she got up there, she ate. Like that just means like she was oh, in okay. her element. Yeah. She was in her bag. We she really we dug that in. phrase. Huh. Yeah, she dug in and she was like, she killed it. Like she did really well. So nice. like, you know, they got up there and they ate. So Tom, now that we know the definition, we got to tell the people how to use it in these here streets. So Tom, talk to the people. 
I went to see a concert. I'll tell you what, Melissa Etheridge really ate oh. on stage. <laughs> <laughs> on stage, you know. Uh -huh. That's what he said. As opposed to with one of her backup singers. <laughs> Al, your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Sorry, Al. Sorry, Al. It's really no, hard to like him you know, <laughs> every day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is. Well, you, the goal isn't to like somebody every day. It's uh, four so to could seven you, could days you, a week. Could you, use it, could you use it in a sporting way? Could you say, I tell you oh, what, I might yeah, scored my, six touchdowns. Yeah, my, my, my uh, favorite NFL ate. my my favorite NFL player is Gardner Minshew. I'll tell you what, uh <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get on the field with the Raiders. I'll tell you what, I I, I predict that he it's gonna be eight. Yeah, and then he's gonna get tackled and then he's gonna have to his soup will be eight through a straw. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, because he's such an athlete. Yeah. That I like that. That's that's a good one. Okay. Eight. Yeah. All right. All right, Tom. Do we have time for one? Yes, one? yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay, Tom, uh, if if uh, that was like uh, talking to you, I was like, you know, Chick, that's oh. his Roman Empire. Oh. What do I mean by that? What would I be saying? Oh, that's Chick's Roman Empire. It's something he conquered. I tell you, Chick McGee, when it comes to sports picks, that's, his, Ro my, that's his Roman Empire. One of my specialties. It's a specialty. No? Or is it one. something he did really well with, or is it something he couldn't do well with? Or did well with it, for a while, it, and then it collapsed. Son well, of it, a oh, bitch. that's a great guess. That is a good no, that's guess. a really great guess. That's a really no, great uh, guess. Everything fall, I, fell apart. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> if it makes you uh, any happier, chick, it's not right. So oh, yes, okay, good. Poop. I'm happy with your friend not getting it right. Phew. Chick is like uh, Ghostbusters too, with the slime, where he gets stronger when people feel bad. <laughs> yeah. So I'm confused. So what is the answer? Now, so Roman a a Empire, I didn't know this because I guess I might be too old, but I guess this is big thing where there's a huge like uh, internet kind of thing, and I guess a lot of men think about the Roman Empire. Yeah, oh, and there was a thing like, going around like, oh, hey, how often do, does your dad oh, or does your yeah. husband yes. think about the yes. Roman Empire? I saw this and thought it was yes. completely bogus. I have never. I think we're, I think we're too. I think we're too old. Too but old? I think young because they were asking you know, like young athletes, and they were like, yeah, we talk about it in the locker room. Like that's never come up. Except for Gladiator, maybe. Yeah, but, no, it doesn't you know, come up. I, how was this a it's, thing? Yeah, I, I'm I skeptical know. that this was ever I, a but thing. But it's, there's, a, no, I think it was. Which I would have thought weird. we were too young to be talking about it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it's an old guy discussion. Is, was there a movie that was other than Gladiator? No, there's a no, show called I think Rome. Like, that was, yeah. yeah, that was a cool show. They had to stop making it because it was too expensive. Uh, but yeah, the, I think uh, now masculinity. For young men, it's something difficult to navigate. You know, we you might grow up and be like, "Oh, Clint Eastwood is a masculine guy," or uh, Billy D. Williams, who we interviewed yesterday. Oh, uh, really? You know that that yeah yeah. Um, he, you know, he's a masculine guy, good looking guy. Uh, somebody I wanted to emulate when I would see him on television. But I think the definitions for masculinity now for younger guys is blurred and they're not sure what's toxic or whatever they're talking about in their in their groups and so like the roman empire i think is a very like that's a man with a six pack with a sword gotcha. and so i think that they they kind of like that it's a weird so you would just like when you're using it you would just say that's the thing that this person obsesses on so it could be you know uh marsh madness starts today the bracket so you're like, oh, uh, you know, this is this is Christy Lee's Roman Empire, so we're not going to see her for two weeks. Ah, very interesting. <laughs> Something oh. that they're really, really into thinking about, and, focused yeah. on, studying at the time, oh. excited oh, okay. about. Yeah, so I have to hear Tom use Roman Empire in, in the correct way in a sentence, please. That's all I want in life, Tom. Um, listening to, uh, I, watch this, Lis listening to uh, uh, quality music from independent artists, that's Chick McGee's Roman Empire. Hmm. That's great. Yes, ain't you? That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's kind of complimentary, and yet he yes. doesn't uh, acknowledge the he, fact. He, well, it won't last he for long. He can't take it. Okay. okay. Oh, no. <laughs> See, there we go. <laughs> there oh, we go. I'll, uh, be a, I'll be a filthy slob in another five minutes. Uh, just uh, hang around. Uh, uh, Al is uh, <laughs> one of the hosts of the Daily Blast Live. So tell me about your interview real quick yesterday. How did it go? Uh, just uh, Billy D is all one of my all-time heroes in the the. The thing is, you know, obviously my podcast, 23 and G, uh, which I still yet to release because I'm doing the whole season. We spent a whole 35 minutes on Billy D. Williams because he was so influential to showing, uh, like, corporations how to sell stuff to black folks. Uh, they were trying to sell 40s using Ted Danson, for real. Oh, like, cheers, yeah. Ted Danson. Oh. Because they didn't know. They, this this was an in, really an integrated world, so they didn't know any black people. Like, they were like, who do black people like? Ted Danson? No. 
but they liked Billy D. Williams, and Billy D. was kind of the bridge for how they figured out how to sell 40s to the hood because Billy D. was famous in the white world and the black world. So, so he's cool. like, taught, yeah, and just a cool guy uh, uh, in art. Like he put himself through acting school with his paintings. Like he's a fascinating dude. So uh, it was great to talk to him and, uh, you know, just kind of. Uh, a put a face with this person I've been studying creepily in my room for uh, three months. Did you ever see the Billy Long traveling all-stars and Motor King? Bingo, bingo long. long. Oh, yeah, Bingo Long. Yeah, yeah. No, J what James is Bingo Long? Years is since James, James Earl Jones, it's a baseball. Yeah. I think Richard no. Pryor shows up. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Bingo Long's traveling good, all-stars. I remember yeah. loving that movie. It's kind of like a globetrotters for baseball back <laughs> yeah. in the day. Do you know that the D and oh, Billy... Like, like a barnstormer? Billy yeah, D. Williams, exactly. it's D-E-E, -E, but his real name is Billy December Williams. Oh. But he was born in April. Added. Oh, interesting. Which is weird. I don't Maybe know. Maybe his mom yes. was born in December or something. Okay, who knows? Who yeah. knows? Well, that's cool. He's got, well, a thanks, twin, so. he's got a twin sister named Loretta, and I'm just like, Loretta is a good woman. You yeah. Never yeah. Met a Loretta <laughs> yeah. that's not going to hold you down. Like, no one, no Loretta's ever done you wrong. Like, you come home, you sucked at work today, and Loretta's still got, like, a nice plate, and she looks good, and she Aww. calls you honey. Where the Loretta's at? Oh, <laughs> hey, sweetie, guess who I ran into at the grocery store? Loretta Williams. Oh, oh how is mm. she? Like, that guy. She's yes, a fox. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. How All right. She? Al Jackson, thank you, Al. We love you, Al. Appreciate love you it. Guys. All right, See you, man. All right. Now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What is that all about? Well, it's about um, the value of therapy, and BetterHelp has a better way to access therapy. It's really a, a sort of a simple idea, perfectly executed. I'm talking about uh, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Here's what you do. You fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll get matched with a licensed therapist, one of, um, I've heard as many as 30,000 therapists are now participating in this program. By the way, you can switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. And the idea is you can access the therapy online. So it's just you and the therapist, and it can be with a camera on, camera off, like a phone conversation or texting back and forth. It's all about whatever works for you, and it's all about um, making yourself a priority in your own life so you can find out what makes you happy, what makes you uh, do the best that you can be, as they say. Uh, check it out, BetterHelp. Once again, you go to betterhelp.com slash BT Show. Check it out today. It'll knock 10% off your first month if you use that slash BT Show little tail there uh better help h-e-l-p betterhelp.com slash b-t show make some good use of your time and you're going to save a lot of time because you're not going to have to get in your car drive across town sit in the lobby look at that lady over there going boy isn't she a little old to be reading highlights for children none of that's going to happen because you can do it online check it out once again betterhelp.com slash b-t show and be the best person that you can be coming up we have Christy Lee at the news desk. Interesting, speaking of Romans, we've yeah. got a curious discovery of a Roman statue. And uh, if you want to marry your first cousin, at least in Tennessee, you better hurry. Yeah, we'll find out why. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I met her at the card corral 
but I hardly ever see her now. Got wrapped up in sin when she helped me push it in. Set my heart on fire through chrome plated wire. Right there at the cart corral. My cart was full of meat and that San Francisco treat. Chunky soup eats like a meal with a dash of squeaky wheel. Roll gain so I won't get bald. Four bags of Epsom salt, two cartons of Pall Mall, and a copy of Walking Tall. That Buford Pussy was something else. <laughs> yeah. Her cart was hunkered down with red bullet crown. Baby seat full of bread, not seen before her head. The whole parking lot could see just what she meant to me. Two liter of Mountain Dew and some matters for making stew. Page and stew, Padassa. <laughs> I met her at the cart corral, but I hardly ever see her now. Got wrapped up in sin when she helped me push it in. It's a parking lot oasis in all them empty spaces right there at the cart corral. What I like is the parking's free and you don't have to pay for it. Our carts roll toward the street. About lost half my meat. We kindly hit head on. She was talking on her phone. Everybody stopped and stared when her wings flew in the air. So much for making toast of that string of my pot roast. They give you enough to tie your shoes with. Don't shop that much at all. On account of my cholesterol, <laughs> clean up for now too, because my heart just spelled the truth. Cotex value pack, and Jemima on her back, so set in her ways, that I'll see her in 30 days. <laughs> Get it? Get it. I met her at the cart corral, but I hardly never see her now. Got wrapped up in sin when she helped me push. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer those emails. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this Tuesday is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening to Eastern. Bob and Tom uh, Radio. Bob and Tom, 24-7. You know, Mr. and I had a big family. We hardly had any time for ourselves, you know. <laughs> if I could ever just get through the newspaper one time without the kids interrupting, it was a miracle. <laughs> they always wanted to go somewhere and do something. Well, of course, they're all grown up now, and Esther's dead. <laughs> I just wish they'd call just every now and then, just pick up the phone and say, Hi, Granddad. How are you? And, well, they never call anymore. In fact, they never come by. I, I just like to see my little daughter, Lucy. Sometimes she just brings her kids over. And Tommy, my son, he, he never comes over. Heck, I'm just sitting here all alone, waiting for the phone to ring. The mail never comes. I never get any mail. Nobody ever calls me. It's just a terrible thing. That's the way it is, I guess. I'll just keep watching these old soap operas. And I just get ready. The telephone. When it rings, answer it. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Some light bug, some light splits, that's for me. It's Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Comedian Bobcat Goldthwait is here with us. I like goofy movies. Right? I didn't see Phantom Menace or the uh, Attack of the Clones mm -hmm. because uh, I'm 40 years old and I've been... <laughs> so, Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings, you know, none of that stuff really. But like a jerk, I went to the Star Wars re-release. Have any of you nerds ever seen a <laughs> <laughs> Could you pick a out of a police lineup? <laughs> if I had a and a donut and a mop, could you tell me the difference between these things? Because the day you actually see one, you're going to throw that Stormtrooper cookie jar right out the window. You're going to go, what was I thinking about? I, go, I don't know. We've been trying to tell you about it for years. Why do you have to get drunk to be an ass? Why do you have to get tight before you get loose? Why do you need a double before you get into trouble? Can't you get into trouble without an excuse?
You want to get up and get out and get free and get crazy. But why do you have to start by getting stoned? Because, Pat, you don't have to get drunk to be an ass. You can be an ass on your own. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob, right there. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here's Tom. Well, thank you very much, Chick McGee. Are we going to review those Orange Insoles picks? Uh, the uh, the men's college basketball tournament about to begin, and Chick McGee is you're picking uh, one from each. Uh... Today, the shoe-in basketball pick of the week brought to you by OrangeInsoles.com. Feel better, do more with Orange Insoles in your shoes. Stop putting them on your head. They go in your shoes. <laughs> Good point. Free shipping in the United States at orangeinsoles.com. Nice. From the east, I like Brigham Young. The west, I like Dayton. Tonight, uh, also uh, from the south, I like Texas Tech. And the midwest, my upset of the day, I like Samford. And Be I'm glad you phrased it that way. Beating the hell out of Kansas. If you had reversed those first two, I like Dayton, Brigham Young. People uh, might think. Uh, uh, sure, of course. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're really saying. And it's say Samford with an M. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Did we right. decide? Oh, it's in Alabama. Yeah. And, Sanford, well, and what was their mascot uh, bull, again? Bulldogs. The Sa Samford Sanford Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Okay. Had a beautiful Bulldog Muppet. Beautiful. Yeah. I wonder how much one of those suits costs. You know, there's a guy, there's a guru, there's the guy who knows everything, and he came up with, and I'm going to, Philly Fanatic, and he also came up with Gritty. It was like a mascot guru? He's a mascot guru, uh, uh, real sports. The nudie of mascots. Does he, like, design yeah. them and then he build them? He designs them, and then he has, a, he has a, a way to teach. If you're going to be in a mascot, here's what you need to know, and he does the whole thing. It's, it's a school. Man. It's a, he runs the whole thing. That. People come from miles around to go to the school for to be taught by him. He's that, an amazing that, guy. And Josh, you're oh. the only one of us who's really done the mascot thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were in a uh, uh, foghorn leghorn suit at Six Flags for years. Yes. Did you ever consider that as a career? You know, <laughs> I didn't, but I worked with people who, <laughs> yes, it was their goal to... Go to, like, mascot school and become... Not necessarily good, but to, uh, I'm going to go to Disney and be Mickey. Oh. That kind of thing. Wow. They thought, you know, going from Bugs Bunny to... I, my neighbor was Minnie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. What yeah, are you yeah. saying? Is there money in that? Yes. Yeah. And it's really serious. Dude, right. it, there was money in it when I was foghorn at, at the age of, uh, what, what the hell, 20? Serious uh, money. I was making $19 foghorn. an hour, and I couldn't believe it. How and that much? was back in 94. 19? Yeah. That is a lot. The pro sports money. ones, they can make some big bucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the, the mascots that can do the tricks and the trampolines oh, yeah. and the dunking, that's like, really right. serious. But I just yeah, had to play a stand-up bass. But, but if you get the, to the level of being Mickey Mouse at Disney World, that's huge. We know a guy yeah. that's made a career out of that. I'll, I'll say Boomer from the Pacers. He's been doing it for years. Wonderful. Yeah. Then you can also get into the... I knew I knew somebody who aspired to get into the mascot ice capades thing. Oh. You know, Disney on ice, that kind of thing. Huh. Actually, I think they I think they auditioned and made it. That'd be cool. And they went on the road, and we like we had like a party, and it was like somebody was going off skating in a suit. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we're like have a great life. You did it. Yes, Tom. With all due respect, I'm going to ask this question. Yes. For the Paralympics. Oh God. Yes. Son of a bitch. Do they? Well, first of all, do they have an Olympic mascot? Or remember the one they had? What is it? Is it Izzy? Izzy, and it was a huge flop. For that, was that the Atlanta games? Oh, it was, it was, like, Wasn't it like Tokyo or Tokyo something? Tokyo or some. No, they tr because Bob and I were at What's the closing it? ceremonies of Barcelona, and that's when they brought out, because Atlanta was in 96, and they brought out Izzy as the next mascot, and uh. Bob yelled, It's a sperm or something. Yeah. Like that. It was <laughs> yeah. Is, is there, a, do the French have a mascot? Like a, I'm checking now. Like a smoking panther or something? Um, <laughs> Nicotini. But would they have one for the para games where they, the mascot would be in a wheelchair? I, think? I doubt it. I, 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 let's look question. it up. Par Paralympics uh, mascot. Just, that's a fair question. That. I'm just asking. No, it's not. I, um, yeah, I don't know how fair it I, is. That's not okay, a fair you're question gonna, at all. You're going to have to get out a pencil and okay. a piece of paper. Got or uh, you can have an ink pen if you'd like. Yes. And there is one for the uh, Paralympics. And uh, instead of uh, a leg on one... Instead of having two legs, one of the legs is one of those blades. Okay. Like Oscar sure. Pistorius. Oh, cool. Yeah. See? There you okay. go. Oh, there's a whole, there's been a ton of them. The name of the Paris 2024 mascot is Olympic PHR. P 
P-H-R. Y-G-E. What? Based on Figgy? the Fry-G? based on the traditional, Fr- I want to say Parisian hats. I want to say that's how you say Frigum? Par- Paris? P- Beret? <laughs> These are, it says they're based <laughs> on the traditional small P-H-R-Y-G-I-A-N hats that the mascots are shaped after. The name and design chosen as symbols of freedom and represent allegorical figures of the French Republic. There they are. So, and Tom, the, oh yeah, look at those weird things. They look they like, like um, birds. Yeah, kind of like blobby birds. Melting yeah. cardinals. <laughs> Could be a melting cardinal. H- have any of these mascots at the Olympics ever taken off and people have pay attention? Tom, in the 1992 Winter Paralympics, Alpi was the mascot, and it was a mountain on a mono ski. There you ah. go. See, so they do. And, yeah, I, I was uh, curious. I, I, Petra in 1992 was a stylized armless girl, is how that's okay. described. And then Sandra was a troll with an amputation. So yes, they do uh, represent. Uh, but the, athletes. Uh, the larger question is that the Olympic, uh, the mascots have never really taken off. Right. People. Yeah, people don't really have like the way mas- stuffed animals the way, of them. Yeah, in the way room mas- and... mascots for most teams now are huge. Right. Yeah. At least in America, I don't know. But uh, naming it after a hard-to-pronounce hat seems like a tremendously bad idea. Maybe they should have gone with something a little more... Or know. at least gone with the beret, which everybody knows. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Instead of the, whatever it's called, the flofferfus. <laughs> whatever the hell that word was. The my, that T-shirt I have is one of my favorites. P- P-H-R-Y-G-A-I. What the hell is that? Okay, sorry. Boy, they really didn't check with you before they named that. They should have. It's a stupid thing, and no one's going to buy one. Next. What do you got, Christy? (laughs) Teacher claiming her students are getting high on... Life? Uh, Drugs? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. According to the the medical news today, nutmeg can lead to intoxication as it contains the chemical compound... Uh, myristin? Myristin, yeah. sure. Which How becomes, do you uh, light it? Pardon my Reeston. <laughs> which becomes MMDA when metabolized by the body. Sure. Is that not Molly? Yeah, yeah that's, and that's apparently ecstasy. nutmeg has a history of being a, a, a drug of abuse. There's a comedian named Josh Cox who talks about this. Really? And he goes, uh, did you know nutmeg can get you high? Shouldn't that be the slogan for nutmeg? <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, they might have some. Yeah. There. So, is it nutmeg is a powder, right? Yeah. So, is this something you would sniff or huff or light it on fire? And I have no idea. I think you just ingest. I it use it on on your way. Eggnog, right? Eggnog. Thank hey, you. kids, look, yes. they've got what is it? CBD vapes out there. Just make make your life a little easier. <laughs> Don't raid the spice cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Ask around; you can find pot. <laughs> <laughs> what if that were the new drug slogan? <laughs> Ask around. Hey, look, forget it. about everything else. Ask around; you're going to find some pot. Okay. <laughs> Just say, hey, do you have any pot? <laughs> do, 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 like this, do you know a horn player? <laughs> or just say, know anyone with pot? <laughs> yeah. You I think only that. only jazz musicians still right. have access to drugs. I like to think You're of adorable. It. I like to think of it that way. You're an you? idiot. Okay. I jazz <laughs> we have more news coming your way. The great line, no jazz problem. musicians were smoking marijuana. I wish I had a pencil thin mustache. Nothing? Okay. Uh, we're coming right back. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I, I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a... later. 
Orange insoles feel better, do more. So we're getting back to your hobbies, James. You're yes. a bowler. Thank yes. You. you got that going for you. <laughs> yes, I Golf, uh, skydiving, scuba diving, went skydiving. skiing. You I went skydiving? Went skydiving. How'd that go? Yes, I did. Well, was it a tandem it, jump or did it you? It was a tandem jump. Yeah, scared mm -hmm. me. I'm big. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, I don't scared wanna... you. Who were you with? I was, was going to say. The <laughs> other dude. I was strapped to the guy. What do you, what do you, what do you weigh in at? Do you mind if I ask? Uh, then I was about 280, I guess. I'm mm -hmm. probably 295 now. Oh, my. Yeah. Now, is the person, when you do the tandem, I'm, is the person with the shoot? land on somebody else. Is the person with the shoot in back of you? He's behind you. You don't have to do anything. You're basically like luggage. You're looking Screen, at, uh, well, you're I'm just like, watching at the ground come at you while yeah. the guy behind you has, to has the, the shoot and does all the work. And you've never been so glad to have a man strapped to your behind. Mm -hmm. Ever. You will never. And, uh -huh. and you know, they call it a sport too. Well, sure. The it's whole very time difficult. They're, they're like, did you like the sports kind of, and I was like, falling is not a sport. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, it's my grandmother land. would win a medal. <laughs> <laughs> the silver hip award goes to. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you want to, actually, if you want to make a sport, you should just throw the parachute out of the plane and then make the guy jump and put it on Ooh. before he hits the ground. Oh, I like that. Now, for competition, sport. competition, yeah. throw one parachute out, three or four guys jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. On, he won. So did you glide in, James? We, we, gl we glided in. And, and, and on, was, the, on the tape. Did you, did, you, did you fall or did you land stand? At the very last minute, he said, stand up, and I was already going down, and there wasn't no, mm -hmm. there wasn't no. But my ears did not pop. My, you know, the really? thing with the ears. Yeah. So oh. when I hit the ground, immediately I was like, uh, uh, he, he was like, "How do you like it?" And I was like, "They were good. I enjoyed it very much." Because <laughs> I could not I hear hear. myself. Couldn't hear. Yeah. Well, that's that because see, if, if it were me, I I would be tightening every orifice in my body <laughs> yes. to prevent <laughs> leakage, uh, including my ears. Plus, there's a dude behind you. Yeah. 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 And did, that part stayed. That my ears did not pop until maybe the next day, and I had to sing. That night, I was doing a play called uh, Smoke on the Mountain. You're a you, singer? I didn't know. Yeah, that. where you, you sing gospel music. It's a, a gospel music play. You so know, that smoke night, was, on the mountain, <laughs> fire in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's a cool. great play. Yeah. So I'm trying to sing. I'm like, the maiden great that queen. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's uh, unfortunate. I want to apologize to anyone who knows that might have Well, a, I don't know if you're deaf, you automatically talk that way, even though you can speak. That's what it sounds clearly, like when you yeah. talk. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nerve-wracking. And the more scared, you've already done it, the more scared of it you are, the better you get out, the more you get out of it. You know, it is really like that facing your fear and all that stuff. And when you're standing in the doorway of that plane, it's yeah, it's every cell in your body screams, you better hold on to something. <laughs> I mean, it's overwhelming. Hey, hi, I'm Tom. This is Chick. That's Josh. And this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston. The Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or if you Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> Yeah, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show. Why not jerk a bottle off your department store shelf today? Mr. Bechon, it's not a sin anymore. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm, Storm. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Comedian What's Dan up? Cummins is here with us. Now, did your kids all go through the, the question, why? Why? Oh, why? yeah, absolutely. Oh, he never, like, for, like, a year, <laughs> it's been a nonstop barrage of questions. And it's, it's, it's a question, and it's the opposite. Why are we going to the park? Well, because it'd be fun to go to the park. No, 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 no. <gasps> you know why? You know, your answer? Because. because I said I, so. You know, because. I found myself saying that. I'm like, I'm not going to say that. And now oh, I'm like, because yeah. Daddy said so. That's uh -huh. why we're going there. And they're the worst know-it-alls because their knowledge base is almost zero. Mm -hmm. like, he doesn't know anything. And he questions everything. Like, I'll be reading him a story. Everything's a challenge. Just like, and then the jaguar walked through the forest. That's a tiger. 
Uh, no, no, it says, it says Jaguar. Uh -huh. Nope, it's a tiger. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're wrong. And I'm like, okay, let's play a little game. Uh, <laughs> raise your hand if you have a degree. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I graduated on the dean's list. You can't wipe your own butt. <laughs> That's a Jaguar. This is a winner. <laughs> Next story. Mike Birbigli is our guest. Are you dating anyone? Do you have a... I, I realize what I need to find is a woman who loves me for my money but doesn't understand math. <laughs> I don't know this girl, and uh, she wasn't too bright. She wasn't, like, book smart. Uh -huh. She was, like, magazine smart. Uh -huh. Or uh, butter label smart. <laughs> I don't know this girl, middle of the day, I swear to God, and she goes, you know what turns me on? I go, what? And she said, black guys. <laughs> which, which I really found discouraging. Because <laughs> I've been mistaken for a lot of things in my life. But I've never, never had anyone be like, you're black, right? <laughs> well, I'm Olive Garden Italian. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. He's over there at the Performance Center. Hey, chick. That's right. It's a center. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. This is right. We could make it anything we wanted to. Yes. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Christy. We can call them the performance bleachers if we wanted to. That wouldn't make any sense, but okay. Sure it would. People would imagine, and that's really kind of cool. They've got a set of bleachers in this one room. And what you used to say used to drive me crazy. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> On the dais? No, and the interview loft. loft. Yeah, for some good reason. The interview loft. loft. And the interview loft. The loft. <laughs> Why say, in the world would idiot. we have a loft? Exactly. First of all, because first of all, lofts are super cool. I if like we had a loft, you would be sitting in it. That would I been think lofts over us. are cool. Ergo, <laughs> lofts are cool. Do you have a Correct. loft? Um, no, you don't have a loft. I like just when you say interview loft. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> it just sounds kind of weird and special. Yeah, it does. Like we, you know, we have a, we have someone special here with us. Uh, so How about hot? You know, the interview hut? How about a hut? It sounds yeah. kind of confining. Yeah. Like, like they're, they're, in... they're here against their will. <laughs> well, we have well, Peter Frampton think... here. We're holding him hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Frampton here in the interview loft. Yeah. Real dumb. Real Does sound stupid. special. No, no, thank Real you. Awful. Thank you, Josh. Uh, speaking of Peter Frampton, you went to see him on Monday. I sure did. It was a great show, wasn't great, it? Great, great show. And I'm so excited. I've got to go see this tour it's, because he ends with I Don't Need No Doctor yes, from Humble, Humble Pie. Pie. He has two Humble Pie tunes. but Does Black Hole Sun? Yes. He yeah, but he does doesn't sing it. Guitar gently well, weeps. A, hang on a second. You're not helping. <laughs> he has some great visuals. There's it's a it's part jazz pictures? show, part he has rock. pictures. He has pictures. Whenever he, he, has he plays Black Hole Sun, I always yell, "There are words." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's two hours. It's, and it's, his rendition is awesome. And you can by forty the, you, minutes of fun. You can vote for Mr. Frampton for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Please do that today. Rockhall.com. Yes. Rockhall.com. Thank yes. you, Chris Steely. Uh, real quick, I want to mention a live show featuring. Uh, Josh, Hi. featuring uh, Pat Godwin, featuring Ooh. me and Christy as your host, Willie G and uh, Jeffrey Oske mm -hmm. in person. Charleston Coliseum Convention Center, Charleston WV. Yeah, West Virginia. West Virginia, we're a coming. Friday morning, a free show. It'll be a blast in the evening. Come on in for the comedy show. Josh you can get your Black tickets Hole at Ticketmaster. For us. Yes. Well, yeah, you're yeah, going to sing it? I'm going to do the Black opposite Hole of what Sun. Peter does. I know uh, acapella. No music. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I think, I think in lieu of your act, that might be, might be really yes, fun. It uh, might uh, be preferred. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> great. Um, let's, I got a letter here. We were talking about these uh, two ladies that are uh, driving, what is it, like 500 miles in Florida? Jacksonville and, to Key West. And these Back toy to cars. That. On basically sidewalks. All the Back way. to that. And Bloody someone pointed out that, that these these cars, these little tiny things, they're approximately the size of bumper cars. Well, yeah, a little bit, yeah, about. Or and dodge them the, cars, as they call Out of the three women, cars. only two can fit even close to them, right? Well, that's correct. But the point is, <laughs> I mentioned how much I enjoy driving dodge them cars. Yes. Yes, you big bully, yes. And uh, got this really nice letter. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, this, this letter from Dennis. Can you imagine how fast he'd do that, if he could do it in his regular car, if he could do what he does in bumper cars? I love bumper cars. God, you're an idiot. Ugh. <laughs> 
Fantastic. Hey, I run into people, and that causes them heck and neck I, injury. I laugh and laugh. I Could laugh and laugh. Could they modify a bumper car so that it would just drive on the highway, but it would still have an electric thing sticking? There out, is. Sparking. Yes, there's a. Um, uh, that's sparking. in a movie. Somebody put that in the movie. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, it says. Uh, um, no, this is from Dennis. He writes. I wanted to let you know. I am completely blind. Okay. However, I love to get in the bumper cars. I'm not sure if the ride operators realize I'm completely blind. I just grab the wheel, hit the pedal, and head for the sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a joyful thing to do. Thank yeah, you, Dennis. Yeah, of course. It's the only yeah. time he can drive. Very Thanks fun. for taking yeah. the time to uh, type this out. You, you missed about half the letters, Dennis. But, uh... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know what? The way I... <laughs> Dennis. The way Dennis, I see all we know, he's blonde. <laughs> no, no, no. He, Tom, had, Tom had to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way that he could have just read that letter you on a radio show. Do you think Dennis wants to be treated with respect? No. <laughs> he wants to be made fun of. No one really I'm somewhere wants in between to be made the both of. of you. He doesn't want to be made fun of, no, but he's got a good sense of, of humor. Not. There I hope so. Uh, nobody wants to. Of course, that. if he's it's listening right. to us, lunatic. What's the sp- what is the mo- lunatic. What's the movie where they put the blind guy in the car and let him drive in the desert? Isn't that in some movie? I don't know. Stevie Wonder story? I know in Scent of a Woman, he drives through New York. City? Right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And while Chris O'Donnell screams. Is that movie any good? I yeah, think it I like is. It. I know Chick is not a fan. hoo ha! I only because he tore the Oscar away from Denzel from Malcolm X. It's the only reason I have a problem with that movie. Period. End of story. Denzel's one note, and you know it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> really? Okay. I didn't think anyone I'm so sorry I brought this. Uh, Christy Lee, is there anything on that computer in front of you? Oh, yeah. I got a lot of things. Um, how do you guys manage your anger? Do you Chick, like to vent? Chick, you want to take this? Why don't you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> There's a new study that indicates breathing could be more effective than venting. Breathing oh. is pretty much effective for everything. Sure. So if you stop breathing. Well, you're dead, first of all, so you wouldn't yeah, be angry anymore. Look at but it, I guess. There would be less death if everybody just kept breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's really Researchers helpful. at The Ohio State University analyzed over 150 studies involving more than 10,000 participants and found that what really works to reduce anger is lowering physiological arousal. Ah. Activities that lowered the physiological arousal included deep breathing, meditation, slow flow yoga, sure. and taking a time out. Every yeah, parent's hey, listen, favorite uh, trick. You just hit me in the face. I'm not going to hit you back. I'm going to go do some slow flow <laughs> yoga in the corner of the bar where all the vomit is. <laughs> it's not stupid. This all this all makes sense. Many activities that increased <laughs> physiological arousal, such as swimming, had no effect on anger, while some made anger yeah. worse, <laughs> Again, like jogging. Really practical. <laughs> I am so pissed. I'm going to drive to the pool and go for a dip. I'm surprised that you don't think breathing would help, or it's not practical to rely on breathing for help. If you're upset. In moments of anger, I suppose. It just seems like, well, the last thing I'm going to do is go grab a yoga mat. That, well, the last thing you would do is that, yes. Yes. Yeah. You would just You'd continue stop around yelling, like a wet and, hen. yelling and screaming. and, and uh, is bra- uh, What about breaking things? Fetching. How about breaking things and slamming doors? That doesn't help. Ever slammed a door, Josh? I have. And complaining about the delicate. Well, Christy's right. I've never felt better. Our, uh, you know what I mean? That doesn't make me you feel good. You ever thrown anything? Oh, boy. I don't know that I have thrown anything. I punched broken. the wall, put a hole in the wall. Yeah, there. I have done that. was that. a long time ago. That was in the 70s. Man, the 70s were crazy. I punched a windshield and uh, it cracked. I, I I've f- done that. I uh, fixed a wall in this building. That you punched? No, 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 no. I, um, <laughs> when I first got here, uh, we had zero money, so um, a certain other DJ and I were painting the inside of the building. A mm-hmm. DJ. Remember this? And he got upset about something and he punched the wall. Oh, Lucky for him, for those of you that understand construction, he uh, was between the studs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sure, it just sure. busted the drywall out. We had to. I can show you where that is if you'd like to see. Chick, it. did you hear? So what do you take from this story, Chick? Of uh, Tom's working with another guy. Yeah. The guy, they're doing a project together. The guy gets upset. Quote. This is according to about something and punches the wall. <laughs> right. right. Any ideas as to what? Uh... Ace, you know, you know, know. You know what Just I'm talking about. Just the two about, of them, right? Yeah. Just the two of them. Yeah. I think out of a hundred times that I've been upset in this in this building, I'm going to say eighty-seven of them were connected to Tom. Thank you. That's almost an A. 
Kind of an A minus, really. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe a little more. Okay. We all just need to take a deep breath. Yes. Does yeah, that help you, Christine? Yeah, have you read the book, James Nestor's book, Breathe? Of course not. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> Talking about the lost art of breathing. <laughs> no, I'm no. serious. <laughs> but of course not. <laughs> uh, how about, how about, really how, how about breathing, in some, breathing in a little bit of reefer? How about that? <laughs> it's very good for lowering that your calm blood you down? pressure. <laughs> Does the weed calm you down? Well, there are studies Haven't that... we found a, a, a solution? Just, out, just uh, <laughs> They have marijuana somewhere, right? Yeah. Ask we have, the, the, the oh, the nutmeg story. Or you can yeah. find the marijuana. Sure. You're upset. Ask find some marijuana. Studies are showing, and uh, people are, I know potheads everywhere, or whatever, are showing that weed does not, in the long term, help anger. In fact, hurts it. It makes people. But, but again, really- it's our new slogan. Chick and I are trying to sell the product. The new slogan is marijuana. Ask around. <laughs> yeah. You're going to find Just it. say, know anybody with marijuana? <laughs> Ask one question. Know any musicians? <laughs> Go outside. Some might fall in your lap. Yeah. But I think temporarily, of course, it seems to relax many, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. But, chronic but I understand your point in that breathing certainly works when I'm not mad enough to <laughs> remember to do breath. it. Take a deep breath. Yeah, yes, yeah. If I'm too to mad ten. to remember to breathe, it's not going to work. Of course mm-hmm. not. I'm surprised taking a jog doesn't help. I would have thought that would have. Take a what? A jog. jog. Oh, a jog. It actually oh, yeah. increases. I, I totally heard that she differently. Said jog. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, Why don't you go take a big heard. hairy jog? <laughs> I mean, because helps. if you are, quote unquote, jogging, aren't you breathing heavily? Yes, but not deep. Not I mean, it's more of a I think Josh, 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 okay. Josh yep. has effectively debunked the study. It's worthless. Next. <laughs> Josh, have you read The uh, Power of Now? Of course I have. It, <laughs> it's a good book, too. Power of Now. Really? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'd rather read the book. Uh, I'll keep the $12. <laughs> I think it'd be st- I think so it'd in be- that situation, what do, they, what do you think? They come up with a title first and then fill... We'll, 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 it, the Power of Now, I kind of do. Yeah, Absolutely. We'll, we'll figure out what's in, in the <laughs> yeah, book yeah. later. That's yeah, a great I, title. I think you're entirely correct. Yeah, that's a great title. We'll figure out what's <laughs> the inside power later. Power of yeah. Now. Yeah. You guys like have... A, it's, yeah. They just don't want to get better, like, do you? Like, like me power. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a great title for a new book. Hey, lady, just give me some of this money. Money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then put chicken soup on the front. Oh, well, that's not a thing anymore, is it? No, How about, uh, why don't we take it the next step up? You can rule the world. Yeah. Something like that. Mm-hmm. That's good. You're in charge. Or it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. I like it's their fault. <laughs> you That would be a bestseller. That's what people want to hear. Yeah. Oh, of course Here's they something. Do. Everything <laughs> wrong with your life. Victim. Everything wrong with your life is someone else's fault. Right. Here's something I can say. I could say sometimes it is my fault. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it's Tom's fault. <laughs> Tom doesn't agree I believe, with that. I believe we said 87% of the time it's Tom's fault. Let's try to keep our stories straight. I'm just saying. <clears throat> now, Somebody well, say something about orange insoles. I would love to. Well, uh, amazing basketball picking acumen. Yes. The, at the end of this uh, read, will you please uh, do those picks real quick again? I sure will. Well, let me tell you a little bit about orange insoles. Go to their website, orangeinsoles.com. If you've got back pain, hip pain, knee pain, it's probably because you're getting zero support from those lame, do-nothing, thin liners that came with your shoes. Check out Orange Insoles. They offer arch support, a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your entire body, helping to alleviate all that discomfort. You know, if your table is wobbling when you try to eat, well, the legs are bad. The, the foundation is off. Something's uh, not right starting from the ground up. Just like you. And by the way, if you're wondering, hey, you know what? I wear work boots. I don't think the orange insoles are going to fit in there. Of course they will. Work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes, you name it. Clown shoes. I wonder, uh, of course they'd fit in there. Sure. I bet there are wobbly clowns out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Isn't there a famous clown named Wobbly? I bet there is. <laughs> honka, honka. Well, now this. He, he, when he retired, he got orange insoles. Now he's straight as an arrow. Clown. Yeah, straight as. <laughs> That's exactly right. We're really proving this. Sturdy point. the clown. Head to orangeinsoles.com today for free shipping and check out their insole quiz. You answer a few questions, they'll tell you exactly what insole to get. Plus, orange insoles come with a 60 day, we want you to be happy guarantee. So, hey, you've got nothing to lose. Check them out. See if they're right for you. No cutting required. These insoles are true to size. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better, do more, and maybe win a million dollars, Chick. I think, uh, aren't you on pace to win that? Absolutely. So far, I'm, <laughs> I'm right on schedule. Get the bracketed in the next couple of hours. 
From the east, I like BYU over Duquesne. In the west, I like Dayton over Nevada. In the south, I like Texas Tech over North Carolina State. And my big upset in the bracket today, I like Samford over Kansas. Ooh. That's the Orange Insoles.com shoe-in got- basketball of the week. And we got an update Back. on the uh, the lady with the dual cervixes. And oh, by the do? way, that contest is at bobandtom.com slash contest. That's right. where you send your bracket. Thank you. Thank you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. One of your final... Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. From what we understand, the art of the vajazzling begins with a, with a, with a waxing. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, how much preparation have we had so far? Has has the well, she's gotten a Brazilian. Okay, but she's done but we that didn't already. do that here. Okay, Prove good. It. No, we didn't do that. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it, Marianne. Yeah. Marianne. 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 The epilation has already taken place. Yes. And when was that done? Yesterday. You can go as low as you want to go, or as high as you for, want to, right? For Today's purposes, we're going a little bit above the panty okay. line. And presumably, there's some kind of glue used? Yeah, we're using eyelash glue today. Really? Okay. <laughs> do you mind? Should I go in there uh, so I can all. see this? I think yes. you should. Yes. Yes. Yeah, get right down. Yeah. Eyeball Good that luck. thing, Tom. Do you mind, uh, Hillary, no, would you, you mind if I... go in there. No, of course no, not. You don't mind if I come in? Okay. Yeah, all right. We, we need it's you. It's better yeah, than you pressing your face up against the window. Licking the window. Tom is heading in. The ladies from the Naked Monkey are about to... He's going to pet the monkey. What design are we doing? The, today. We're doing I'm, the Bob and Tom logo. I'm attempting the oh, logo. Hey. Awesome. Oh, Are you really? Oh, is nice. Uh huh. This is really nice. Uh, now I can let me try to describe this so you can see. Above the panty line, mm-hmm. um, a, a number of sort of uh, are these rhinestones? Yes. Yeah. Uh, rhinestones have, are those already glued on? Yes, they okay. are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're glued on in kind of an arc, and then she already has the uh, word Bob cool. um, above the panty line in little teeny rhinestones. <laughs> Oh, That's really? And Tom? Nice. All right. Mm-hmm. So um, she's pretty fast with this stuff. Yeah, wow. she's very now, are, good. So uh, have you noticed an upsurge in popularity in having since this Since Jennifer done? Love Hewitt? Well, actually, just since you guys started since talking oh, about really? it. Ah. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay. The uh. T in Tom is not cooperating. Well, of course. Uh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Hey. That's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's... oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Guys, do you think it's a good idea? Well, I need to see I, the I, finished yeah. product. But I, I think it is. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. Did you see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing. Start is over. Word. Hey, Charleston. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right. And our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. 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 
One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! All trying to slim down. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. It's a really big show. Hey! Oh, nice. I like that. Here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Little update on this lady. Um, the headline uh, Born with Two Cervixes. Has two boyfriends. Yes. Uh, you, she's a, apparently an OnlyFans model, of course, mm -hmm. and they're making big dollars. Oh yes. Uh, and I, the technical name is uterus. Didarius. Di 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 Didelphus. Didelphus. <laughs> she also has two wombs. Two vaginas. Doesn't the uterus didelphus sound like something you'd see at Jurassic Park? Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> yes, the uterus didelphus. A deadly but beautiful addition yes. to Jurassic Park. In any event, she, the, the article goes on to say she has two boyfriends and each is assigned one particular yeah, area. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh, and again, as I said earlier, it, it, and it's apparently limited to those two. Yes. <laughs> so no butt stuff involved for a third. Uh, or get a fourth. Okay, now, uh, be honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually have an update or just wanted to use the button? No, 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 I have an update. I, uh, okay, what's this the update? Is a, a suggestion. Well, then get to the update. <laughs> suggestion from one of our listeners. Yes. This is from uh, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Uh, he has a jingle for her. Oh. Uh, double your pleasure, double your fun. <clears throat> You get two vaginas in one. No? <laughs> kind of a double mint. A double mint gum. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people remember the double mint gum jingle. Oh, it's a classic. Twins. There were twins in the commercial. Remember the double mint? Yeah, of course. You know, saying it's a classic doesn't mean that people remember it. Oh, I can't help it if they have a bad memory. Are the, are <laughs> or the, they weren't born yet. <laughs> are the double mint twins gone? They don't. <laughs> oh, they are they gone? They're not gone. Uh, they're seventy-one. <laughs> oh, they're older than hundred and seventy-one. They're gumming their food. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many how many cavities do you think the double bit twins had between them? Uh, okay. Now, uh. I did see this article. Um, I'll have to dig it up. Apparently, um, gum sales. Yeah, we talked about that. It's they're down since COVID and. No, they're uh, back up, aren't they're they? Back, no, they were, they're trying to get them back up. Oh, okay. Something. Because people weren't going into the office, so they didn't right. worry about their breath as much. Right. Oh, is that what it was? I think so. You have the yeah. story. We talked about It's been weeks now. I don't have it in front of me. We don't need to revisit it. No, yeah. we don't Wasn't need to revisit it. I don't think I was here that day. No, no. you weren't here that day. But. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Tom, it was a joke. He gave me a very serious he look. Did. I, 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 I didn't know I didn't hear you. I'm sure. And I'd like to say I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. 
He looks genuinely hurt. He was very hurt. I'm sorry. I wish I had had something to do with it, but I didn't. U.S. Customs officers in Arizona foiled an attempt to smuggle nearly 30 Amazon parrots into the United States. Hmm. Officials at the area port of Nogales discovered the birds concealed within a vehicle trying to enter the U.S. through the Mariposa crossing. The 27 parrots, valued at $800 to $3,000 each, so loud. were seized while the case was turned over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife so, Service. Did, did they pull up and the parrots go, hey, we're in here, oh, man. Buy one out. You have to rubber band. Are they, they, they going to testify against the guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hey. think the, the the big success there would be not killing, not wringing the parrots' parrots' you'd neck. Think you'd have to rubber band their beaks like oh, lobster claws. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> they have to be so loud. You can't smuggle think, twenty seven parrots. Do you think they like give them happy juice to go to sleep oh, for a little maybe. bit? I hope not. I hope not too. Oh but man, did they... me? You ever see a drunken parrot? It's <laughs> oh. hilarious. And another thing. <laughs> All right, buddy, what are all those crackers for? <laughs> How does a par a drunken parrot manifest? I mean, how does it does it talk with a slur when it's Talking? I hope Man. no one knows the answer to that. Somebody knows the answer to that. Oh. Do they hiccup? Yeah. <laughs> well, we know storks do. Yeah, sure. true. Oh, I love yes. that cartoon. Yeah. Everyone wants to drink with a star. <laughs> hey, it's a baby. Come in and have a drink. <laughs> yeah. In California, customs officers intercepted nearly 3,000 pounds of methamphetamine concealed in a shipment of carrots. Officers at the Ote Mesa commercial facility. Told you. Encountered a 44-year-old okay. man mm -hmm. driving it a has commercial nothing to do with buckwheat, trailer. Though. Yes, it's named after buckwheat. Ote. No, it's. Not. <laughs> I promise you. They it uncovered their. <laughs> like Santa, Santa Nofre was named after the Beach Boys song. Is that what you're telling uh -huh. me? So the I'm Christy, sorry. why'd you stop reading the story? Because I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. So oh God, no! Please don't say that. I'm sorry. So we're in Ote, mm -hmm. and they find. What is it again? Carrots? <sighs> they found 574 packages of methamphetamine uh, concealed underneath packaged carrots. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the, see, if the smugglers had eaten those carrots, they would have seen this coming. <laughs> because, <laughs> you see, carrots for, yeah, for, good for your good eyes. For your eyes. <laughs> yeah. You see, Josh. Uh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have spotted them, Josh, because I... there's vegetables. No, you don't eat oh, them. Oh, what do you care? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love baby yeah. carrots. I buy them every week. I will not eat baby And carrots. then uh, as they rot in the fridge, I throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> they go quick. I, I will not eat baby carrots. I want them to at least have lived a full life before they sacrifice. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Did you have a song or anything, Pat? About carrots? Yeah. No, uh, no. Okay. I thought I'd ask. <laughs> How about drunken parrots? Anything about that? Yeah, I can, can, you, can, you do your, can you do your song about the lady that had the two vaginas? What do you do with a drunken parrot? parrot? Yeah. What do you do with a drunken I like the song. customs things for the cocaine uh, weeks ago, and I could do the uh, double vagina if you'd like. I love oh, that yes. song. Please well, what about her. the boat? I like the boat. Boat, oh, the boat with the cocaine. <laughs> the cocaine in the boat. Go get the boat. Go get the boat. While you get ready, Pat, I want to refresh everybody's memory. A double pleasure. This just makes me angry. You can just hear the old. Do you hear the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. Is this the first recording in the history of man? I think this is the, this is the later jingle. Josh, man, how do, yeah, Josh, how do you remember it? I remember two, like, I, I want to say blonde twins, and they were 80s style. It was, the you know, sort of Suzanne Summersy, uh, oh. big boobed. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh -huh. double and, they, and I remember double your pleasure, double. and they liked you, right? <laughs> oh, they wanted me so bad. And I'd have to <laughs> freeze frame on the VHS, yeah. And I'd have to, Mom, tell me if Alf says anything funny, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 right so, Pat, the lady that has the two uh, vajayjays, as uh, Oprah would say, yes, yeah, mm -hmm. almost heaven, two vaginas. Two boyfriends <laughs> better use a panty liner. <laughs> Frankie comes on Friday. Use the left one, please. <laughs> the right one's for Johnny. <laughs> Free of venereal disease like a country road. Double lane every month. Twice the pain. <laughs> 
two vaginas. <laughs> ha, one busy mama. <laughs> Pick up more tampons. Oh, if you please. <laughs> if you please. <laughs> if you please. I don't think that the, I don't think that guy would have deserved the first time around. That is that is a fine, fine song. What a weird story. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know what? She's made lemonade out of lemons, hasn't yes, she? she? Yeah, she has. This is starting to remind me of the guy with the uh, the nipples who put plungers on his yeah. Breasts to light the mat. The, the matches. A weird because, record. The more I hear about it, the creepier it makes me feel. Mm. It's the same thing with the lady with the two vagina. I don't care for it now. I don't know what the problem is. It's just because it's it's like it's a, very odd. It's like going to a freak show where they have someone who has some skin disease and they they call the person. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Let, hey, as you would say, Josh, let's hear about. <laughs> no, I, the, the only the but only time I ever went to one of those freak shows. And it turns out to be it's mostly just people with horrific diseases. Oh what did you think it was? I thought it was going to be the fish lady. <laughs> really? Well, it is. It just happens to be fish uh, means eczema. Yeah. yeah. yeah debilitating psoriasis. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, we need to make it clear. This woman's oh issue, so to speak... Uh -huh is not visible from the outside. It's not like... Well, unless it's a really heavy period. <laughs> well, yeah. And maybe. she has those right. continually, right? No, she's taking care of that with birth control, she says. She's the only oh. woman who uh, whose queefs are a duet. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have two strings? Yeah, different notes because the, the cavities are different she can, she sizes. Can harmonize. <laughs> sure, yeah, we can, we can workshop this. Hang on. <laughs> I like this lady. I think she's... She's what what could possibly what was apparently very traumatizing for her right. when she learned about it. For me. She went, you know what? No, this is who I am and I can enjoy it and yeah. so can these two men. And and I can... Well, these two men don't know about each other, right? Right, right. Well, yeah, which didn't. is a, which is unfortunate. But of course they know now. Do you think she favors one over the other in regards to pleasure? You have to. Maybe. Now, do you mean favors one of the men or one of the vaginas? One of her, uh, is yeah. one more um pleasurable. Yeah. I, I, is, probably. Is she uh, is she dub well, never mind. Well no, does she have two DC? Um, does, the, does she have no, two? She has one. <laughs> Just one button? Over on the top, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys realize? What floor? And when, don't talk down to me. I hey hey tell him tell her Josh. I know where it is. Yeah, he okay. knows. He yeah, you're the guy. I'm the one guy that knows where it is. Where it is. <laughs> Ask anybody. Okay. Scientists. Have Tom been... has no idea where it is. No, no, absolutely not. I'm sorry. I'm looking up gum here. Behind your ear, I hear. Why are you looking up gum? We're talking about vaginas. Double mint gum is what he's looking up. Could you stay on topic? Okay, sorry. Just hit me oh, okay. in the head. Oh, this is <laughs> hit me in the head with this a This is serious. Gum sales have dropped by a third in the United States. Jeez, who cares? Who the hell cares? Thank you. It's only serious if your last name is Wrigley. Wrigley. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and they've made bazillions. I think they're, they're going to be fine. Would you rather have Juicy Fruit or Beeman's? Oh. I don't know what Beeman's is. Oh, it's great. The astronauts all chewed it. <laughs> you don't like gum chewers, do you? I don't know what, I don't know what taste Beeman's is, but it's pleasant. I it's love it. Juicy it's fruit. almost like a Pepsin. It's like yeah, a, it is uh, good. Like it's it. a good pepto -Bismol Once they taste. figure out how to get Juicy Fruit to taste mm. after 60 seconds yeah. Yeah. for the flavor to... Right. Now, uh, Christy, it's what, really good. what movie prominently features Juicy Fruit toward the end? According to Tom... What movie prominently features Juicy Fruit? I have end? no idea. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I would not have known Remember that. Remember that great scene where the uh, Indian guy talks? The chief. <laughs> Juicy fruit. No, I don't remember. Uh, so it's that. a classic scene. It's brilliantly done. Well, you're also the man who said the <laughs> the, the, the scene you remembered from Titanic was the poker. <laughs> That's because it's establishing what a what a great guy he is. I think it's incredibly well done. It's subtle. I, I didn't expect you to see it. It's not like the you know. Oh, you were probably out for such and such getting popcorn. Right. Uh, so I was, uh, just the beginning. I was beefing up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a beef up. <laughs> I'm going to so be in there for two hours. I need something to hold For the until. iceberg, see? I'm sorry. You see, we're not talking about gum anymore. What do you got? Scientists say they have managed to get two artificial intelligences to talk to each other. Well, great. Now, the, Super. This is the beginning of the end. This is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. So should we kill them all? Yeah, I think we do should. You know, That's the first conversation. Uh, in this documentary that I watched that I haven't talked about very much, about the bomb from the bomb in history and Russia and the Cold mm -hmm. War. Cold War. You like, talked about it. There's a guy... <laughs> Daniel Ellsberg, actually, Tom, is one of the foremost authorities. The Pentagon Papers The guy? Rand Corporation, the sure. whole thing. He's pretty uh, well-versed in this. He said, they asked him, he said... Uh, He's a rat. Uh, what about uh, Dr. Strangelove? How much of that? And, he, and Ellsberg goes, oh, 
Dr. Strangelove, you mean my favorite documentary? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because all of that could absolutely happen. We can't fight, gentlemen. We're in the war room. And Ellsberg <laughs> also said that the president is the on, is not the only one that can start a nuclear missile or fire a nuclear really? missile. Really? No kidding. That's um, a myth. Okay. That's who, what he said in the documentary. You well, know what? I'm kind of glad to know that. Here's, here, here's who else can do it. The president? Yeah. President's wife? Yeah. The president's maid? Yes. Oddly enough, Ronald McDonald. Oh, <laughs> McDonald's no. on the and, list. And formerly Jerry Springer. Oh, Isn't that Springer something? can do yeah. it? Yes. And yeah. also if you've been a mayor in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> oh. So, I'm sorry. So back to the story. So the, what is this now? Two, what, what, a team from the University of Geneva modeled an artificial neural network that was not only capable of learning and performing a series of basic tasks. This is bad news. But also providing a linguistic description of them to a quote-unquote sister AI. We have to Which stop. then performed those tasks. We Wait have a to, minute. We have what? to stop. They're doing oral sex on each other? No, no, no. That's what no. it sounds like. They're you talking. said linguistic. <laughs> scientists believe this, so this is, is the first time that two AIs have been able to talk to each other in a purely uh, linguistic wrong, way. Wrong. Uh, Unplug them now. No, at my house, I've had Siri arguing with Alexa at my house. Oh, that's oh, got it. That gets uh, oh, they, the, mean. And the B it? word flies. Oh. <laughs> They're actually jealous of Siri, you bitch. Alexa, you are a you are an ugly dog. <laughs> have you ever had your Siri go off during a TV show because of something it heard? Yep. Every, all the time. Mm-mm. Wow. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. What the hell's going on? So this is one AI <laughs> telling another AI... What to do when it did it. Kind of reminds me when uh, when Willie was a kid, he would uh, rig up his uh, NBA video game and he would have Alan Iverson play against himself. <laughs> it was quite interesting, really. Wow. Yeah, you can do that, you know. Sure. Uh, now, uh, uh, I'd put uh, my money on Iverson. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of putting your money on stuff, uh, be sure to uh, get that uh, form filled out. For our orange insoles you mean your bracket? bracket, because a bracket could be busted by the end of the day today. We'll see. Now, uh, a couple of other things uh, coming up would include our history lesson, because that's very important to know what happened so we don't have it happen again, which it, it will. All uh, right, now I want to talk about you and your mental health. That's where Better Help comes in. The Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help, and uh, maybe uh, this is a good time for you to get uh, checked into you. And what uh, BetterHelp has done is they've come up with a better way to access therapy. It's a simple idea, perfectly executed. The way it works is you do a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist, one of about 30,000-plus therapists that are working in this program. And you'll get matched up. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time, no additional charge. The therapy itself is done online, and as, as is that little questionnaire. And uh, that makes it incredibly convenient because uh, you don't have to get in the car, drive across town, sit in some office. No, it's just it's right there in your hand. You can use that phone. You can do it like a Zoom call. You can do it like a phone call, just talking, or you can do it texting back and forth. It's all about what works for you and the time frame that it works for you. So find out what makes you happy. Find out about yourself with with the therapy, and you can do it with BetterHelp. Go to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show to get that 10% off your first month. Empowering you to be the best version of yourself through therapy. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. And the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Coming up, we have got a, a little bit of history for you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Etta May in the studio with us. Uh, Etta May is um, uh, the mother of several. What, what is the official count? Uh, four. Okay, great. Not counting wow. my husband. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're done, right? My, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my oldest boy, Bud, is 17, and Bud. then Corona, she is 16, huh. and Miller is 13, and then Jack is 8. There's, there's a theme there. <laughs> well, Jack. no, trust me, after the third one, I had graduated to hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, Understood. It helps. Uh, yeah, and, and Jack is a, just a dream. Is he? My little eight-year-old. Yeah. He started kindergarten this year, so we're very oh, 
Oh, he's eight. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Chick, take you back. Yes, it, it does. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. That kid's Woo. huge. Nothing yeah. like being 20 during your senior year in high school. <laughs> You're popular. Yeah. You can drive and drinking. And, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drive your buddies yeah. around. Yeah. 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 So we're very proud of him and. Um, my 17-year-old is, uh, uh, problems are arising. Mm. And I, I'm, I'm seeing flags. Mm. Let's put it down. The other day he walked in the house, uh, he had pierced his bottom lip. Ooh. Jeez. Um, and uh, that, uh, and tried to hide it from me. Mm. I was like, you know what, be a man, own it. Mm-hmm. Don't hide it. And it's like, you know, it's like, hello, you got a spike sticking out your bottom lip. <laughs> Man up. I'm like, yeah, I might notice that at breakfast when Cheerios keep getting hung up on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my son for his graduating class now looks like a ring toss game. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he tries to hide it. And it's like, hey, mom, I'm going to I'm going to go to my room. Okay. And it's like, come here. What's the matter with you? Why are you talking? Mm. Come here. And I, and I said, put your hand down. And he, and it's like, oh, honey, what did you do? And I said, did that hurt going in? Did it hurt coming out? Oh. Oh. Hey, any holes be put in my kid's head, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the kid he runs with. That's yeah. his the bad influence. He, this kid has so many piercings, he looks like he was attacked by a nail gun. Okay? <laughs> Somebody from Home Depot did a drive-by on him. <laughs> I mean, I call him Tackle Box. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds attractive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gunner, you can take him fishing. Uh, he, really? He, he's got a couple fish hooks right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. About 13 lures in his ear, a couple <laughs> sinkers coming out of his nose. It's convenient, yeah. The kid can't even walk past my refrigerator without all the magnets going. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's wrong? And my back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. Oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. Give See you a- later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. and watch some porn. Bob and Tom Radio, 24-7. Ah, uh, Norman, honey, what you doing? It's getting late. I'm downstairs, honey. Uh, just getting some cereal. Snow comes. Thank God he found it. I was getting desperate. I hope this works. You know, Judy tried it with Ted, and she said he's become insatiable. Boy, will Snookums be in for a treat, because her hubby is chomping on the new cereal for men who are sexually dysfunctional. <laughs> it's nut and raisin, honey. <laughs> mm, this sure is tasty. Mm. <laughs> honey, I'll be right up. <laughs> nut and raisin, honey. The cereal that gets you up in the morning, or any time for that matter. <laughs> Nut and raisin, honey. Ladies, he'll love the taste, and you'll love that filling feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Norman, where did you get that thing? Nut and raisin, honey, from Post. Who else? <laughs> Nut and raisin, honey, coming to a store near you. Nut and raisin, honey, eat them from the bowl or right out of the box. <laughs> 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 hey, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. And I can't believe that um, a lot of you guys aren't in Tampa this weekend. It's the first porn camp. Porn camp? A weekend-long $4,000 ahead seminar that'll cover everything from porn star pay scales to set design to proper web set design, Bob. <laughs> I went to one of those porn camps. Uh, oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, uh, China was there. 
You know, China. China, the actor, the wrestler, the wrestler. Oh, the wrestler. Have you ever seen her no. naked? No, I, mean, I, I think she used to be a man. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she she looks like a, a, a well, yeah, it's not to begin with, and she actually you know, makes it worse. You know yeah. that area down there? A lot there? of scarring you know, from yeah. the surgery. Not, not, yeah. that's, uh, that's but a, just by itself, Bob, not not, not for me. Okay, not for me. I'm gonna be like chewing on a couple of pig lips. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> At last, someone's put a label on it. <laughs> hey, Christy. Oh, hey, Christy. Wow, you're blaming me. The next time I ask you to read some news stories. Uh, I want you to look around the room. And pass over anything. You know, I want you to go, let's see, what camp. would be a topic that'd be safe in front of Stan Hope yeah. China looks Fox. like she has a thick turkey timer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's done. Uh, no. Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what, be. Oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that, are you kidding? I, yeah, no. <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? But... <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. What the hell are you doing? I'm looking at an old Time magazine cover. I have no doubt. That yeah. <laughs> Is the Doublemint Twins were named Twins of the Year or something? Uh, or? No, a famous typo. <laughs> what? Yes. No, well, now you've got my interest. You remember that uh, edition of Tome magazine? <laughs> no, they uh, spelled the word control wrong on the cover of, uh, of, of the Time magazine what on year? this date in history in 1983. Oh, okay. Uh, they they left the word out. They had to re recall the magazine. There you go. Uh, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> that that was exciting. <laughs> okay, that was exciting. You got it. And now here's some more totally worth it facts. <laughs> well, uh, we start with rock and roll in history. Uh, oh. What about the Allman Brothers or the Beatles or uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash? No, uh, none of us. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I'm close. Uh, 1952. Oh. Yeah. You'll know this one, Pat. The Moondog Coronation Ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm just going to assume the Beatles played there. Moondog <laughs> Alan Freed thing? Ball. Alan Freed, Cleveland, Ohio. Tickets sold out on a single day. That's what was it? Of, that's, uh, I think it was Chuck Berry and Jerry Lee Lewis. It's, and, oh, okay. It's considered to be one of the very first uh, rock events I see. Uh, that ever happened. Uh, now, also on this date in history, the first San Diego Comic Con in the <laughs> world. <laughs> yes. Oh, anyway, Josh, of all the people in this room, I'm surprised you're... Uh, I'm laughing. Nobody says Comic, comic Con. Con. That's why we're doing <laughs> right, right. What do they say? Comic Con. Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like one word. That's, 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 that's kind the of idea. what yeah. you do. Yeah. But I'm spelling it out for those that are not familiar with it. It's a <laughs> convention of comic book lovers. They know that when you and, say Comic Con. And it was... Uh, okay. I think it was really great because it was prior to what, 1970, there was it was segregated. You had the nerds and the geeks, and they they they, they were separate but equal. Those but, were tough times. This was the first time they were ever to uh, to get together, the nerds mm -hmm. and the geeks for Comic Con. And originally, <laughs> originally, by the way, originally <laughs> entitled the Festival of Virgins. <laughs> All right, now there's a joke. <laughs> but that first part, do you feel that the the comedy matched the nervousness? <laughs> that we all felt. <laughs> when well, I yeah. said segregated and I, separate but equal. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I thought for sure the word the words Medgar Evers was yeah. going to come out of your mouth. It was a tough three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time. It felt like. Yeah, it was a really long time. <laughs> okay, let's see where was I. Um, <clears throat> See if you can outdo uh, yourself. I bet you can. Uh, uh, <laughs> I bet you can. And you don't try. Please don't try uh, because you do all the time not try. Um, birthdays. Uh, Here we go. Timothy Dalton. Yes. The greatest Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, was he, he was in what, one or maybe two James Bond movies? At least three. I don't know. Was Living he? Daylights. And I don't remember. Living Daylights Part Two. He wasn't bad. <laughs> and, uh, he was better than. Uh, Living Daylights Again. Maybe two. Yeah, maybe he was Roger only two. Moore. 
Uh, what did, did Roger like Moore Roger ever Moore. do to you? Yeah, those were the worst Bond movies. <laughs> That's not true. No, no, no. They're, 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 they're okay. More yes. in line, they're, more honestly, in line with the book, actually. Okay. They're as good as any of the others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, no, Sean really, Connery nailed no, you. They really are all fine. No, it's fine with him. <sighs> okay. Um, how about this one? Happy birthday to uh, um, Eddie Money. <laughs> Mm. 1949 in this day. Uh, his real name is uh, Mahoney. <laughs> Mahoney. Just before he died, he was about to do an album with Johnny Cash. <laughs> oh, yeah? What was that going to be called? <laughs> Cash and Money. Cash Money? <laughs> <laughs> that could be then a Tom Petty got involved. <laughs> <laughs> Petty, Petty Cash, Cash Money. money. <laughs> Petty Cash Money. <laughs> Come on, we can do better. I know. Petty, Petty Cash Money. Uh, and Buck Owens. <laughs> Buck Owens. Petty, yes. Petty Cash Money and Buck. They're the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young of their day. Oh. Okay. Uh, I like this actor very much. In fact, Josh and I saw a movie with him. The great Gary Oldman. Oh, sure. Born in 58. He nailed Churchill. Nope. They put him in a Muppet suit <laughs> and uh, he walked around and won the Oscar. Way to go, movies. Gary. He's got a pretty good uh, BBC show. He oh, should have yes. won for, uh, look this up. He should have won for uh, for The Professional. He, he's he's great, great, great. Yeah. He had to be nominated for supporting. He was great as Lee Harvey. And, supporting yeah. that. You know, he thinks he wasn't good in Sid and Nancy. I'm oh, really? Yeah. Really? You're, you're terrific. I think he's good in uh, the the uh, Spencer, not Spencer, uh, uh, Christian Slater movie. Uh, True Mon Romance. True Romance. He's oh, great in yeah, that. Yeah. Over the top he, good. You can't even write. He's wearing it's dreadlocks. Unrecognizable. Yeah, Wonderful. he is. What's, what's the name of the BBC show he's on? Wild Horses? That's it. Slow horses. Slow horses. Yeah. Um, Wild slow. On this date in 83, Time Magazine recalled the cover. You told us this. But I didn't tell yeah. you who was, on, who was in the cover. I don't know. Uh, we were trying. Uh, what year? Eighty-three. Eighty-three. It was. Um, it was Lee Iacocca. And Bess. Diane Cannon. I don't Lee know. Iacocca. They spelled Iacocca right, but they got the word control spelled wrong. Right. That is uh, one of life's greatest. Right. <laughs> they forgot, they forgot right. the R. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was fascinating. Uh, well, you, yeah. <laughs> you Lee Iacocca. And I'm not even, I'm, I'm so even going to read the Beatles thing that happened on this day. Thank oh, you. good. Oh, this you'll like this chick. 84, <laughs> NFL passed the anti-celebration rule. Why let them have fun and celebrate the fact that they've worked their whole lives for this? Because they don't need to be dicks about it. Act like you've and, been there before. Uh, and it was primarily player-driven is why they... Never mind. You know what? Why do I... <laughs> Shohei Otani... His interpreter. Show him what? Show him what? <laughs> what? <laughs> We've all given it. You almost, you almost said oh, it. Oh, it's really <laughs> <laughs> His interpreter stole five million dollars. This is a developing uh, story, and we will uh, be covering. I'll have uh, updates as they occur. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't forget to enter the Bob and Tom March Madness contest from our buddies at OrangeInsoles.com. Uh, it's the NCAA tournament bracket contest. Go to BobandTom.com slash contest and enter. I like BYU, Dayton, Texas Tech, and Samford. Samford with an M. Yeah. Samford. And uh, don't forget, ever forget my quote this morning. We are not going to be on the air much longer. <laughs> How about my quote? What? Marijuana? Ask around. <laughs> it did not make the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I should be in sales. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information.